Jackson. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Yeah, um, trust me, I have more than 16 RAM. Um, <laughs> otherwise, I wouldn't be able to play these games. Sorry, that I just thought that was funny, because while I may not have the best computer in the world, it's certainly a very good one. Though I do look forward to try and get the... Uh, an even better video card in the future. Hello everyone, thank you very much for waiting a couple minutes more. Um, what happened was not due to my computer, that's all due to something either Streamlabs is doing or YouTube. There was just a drop in bitrate. I tested my internet, that was fine. More than fine, even. Why the hell do we have this much internet? We don't need it, but hey, it's great. It means I can stream at top quality, at least as good as both Twitch and YouTube allow. So everything looks healthy now. I just had to restart a couple of times. I do apologize for any extra twi not Twitch notifications that went out. 17 gigabytes of RAM. Now, um, what the hell do I have? Hold on. Rob just linked me it so I can just click it. Uh, 64. 2 times 32 dual channel. Kingston Fury. Ram. That's it. You can read all about it in that link. Which is just a, a, a Google document. So no, it, it had nothing, to, I'm making a joke of it, but it had nothing to do with my computer. It is simply uh, the connection to the Streamlabs server was probably bad. It made it drop from the normal 8000 bit rate I stream at, which is basically the amount of data I'm sending off uh, to like, what was it? I think it was 1300. Well, that's just too low to get 1080 on YouTube. So. Hence me just restarting until it worked, and it worked, but of course then I had to quickly back up my game, uh, set up my sound, and here we are. So thank you very much for waiting. Did I miss anyone uh, up top there? Caitlin, uh, you got me hooked on Kebab Sim. Uh, sorry? <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Hey Kiwi! The music is too scary. Oh, I don't even know what I have in that start playlist actually. Hey, Auntie, and Edgar is here. Rob, of course, too. Hey, Bud, Amy, Tamara, and Halbert, Steve, hello. Darkness, Tony, hello. ka -ching. yes, indeed. Because uh, that's what we need to do today. Hey, Alisane. Al Alisane? Alis yeah, it's Alisane, probably. Ian, welcome back, Kiwi. Yeah, it's uh, it's sleepy time uh, next to me. <laughs> I love that, but I have more than 16. He goes 17? Oh, he's not wrong. I mean, it's at least 17. <laughs> hey, Doug. Brendan. Hello. Oh, oh. Music. Jesus. Sorry, I started up my music and Auntie is like, bum bum. <laughs> uh oh. I don't want to throw it, I want to put it down. There you go. What do I have, still have here? Three fridges. Yeah, I, d I don't need them, so I don't have them set up. How the hell did I have three more fridges in here? Yeah, I guess I had I had this all the way that way and I had, didn't have this half one, so I had a whole one here that stuck out. So yesterday I bought a new license. It's mostly uh, cheese and well, it's called clotted cream, but it says creme fresh. Um, new yogurt. Right, a new sugar. I am tempted to switch some things around here. Yeah, that looks fine. Uh, did I have a new... No, I, I'm... I switched around the coffee to the other side. That's what I did. Uh, we have Uncle Tony's. 
<laughs> rice and we have a new pasta macaron uh, penne so that meant that i had to move the honey and peanut butter over here and of course here's our booze aisle from the episode before so i did some switching around with the fridges uh, I gave the yeah this a little less space even because really didn't need it. I moved this to half a fridge because I didn't have any other items I really needed in there. I moved the fish to go with the meat so I could have a dairy corner basically. Other than the milk which is still with the drinks that's fine. We could change that in the future if we have to. Like if we get another drink and we need that space I can move the milk to go with the dairy. Yeah, we have so many types of sugar. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> hey, Wheelie. You, you took 15 steps today. Congratulations. That's awesome. Very nice, indeed. Oh, no, actually, I'm just... <laughs> Yeah, but you don't get it. You're not looking at my computer. I, I paid thousands of dollars for my computer. It's it's built by Osaka. Besides, I can't really get a better one right now. That would be ridiculously expensive. Because the only thing that would be better... Gee, I-12... 4090 How do you get a blue ridge across your name? Oh, you mean oh, that, uh, those are my moderators. They have been with me for a very long time. If that's what you mean, the blue names. It's your rice and pizza company. Do we have a Tony's pizza? Oh, yeah, you're right. It is called Big Tony. You remember that better than I did. Well, obviously, it's your name. Yeah, we, we have a Tony's uh, Pizza and Rice Company. You're absolutely right. I don't think we have anything else called Tony's. But then the names, of course, are... I mean, this is just Elo with the Euro sign. That, that's what it, this one reminds me the the white rice reminds me of like the white packaged rice I mean of course um, like there was a like a house brand of a supermarket and they called it okay but you have to realize that when something is okay especially in Dutch it's like yeah yeah it's it's okay you know it's not bad not good it's okay the blue needs you need help. If you need help, you can you can DM me, Auntie. You'll get priority, I promise. No. I'm oh yeah, that's right. We have a PC built. I forgot about that. Oh man, Juni was there too. I remember that. Poor little thing. She's actually in the thumbnail. <laughs> hey, Michael. Uh, yes, a lot of brands are knockoffs. I mean, these are just, you know, standard bio eggs. Let me see. Pripyat, I think that's a place. Uh, Rom Point, I don't know. I don't see a brand on that one. I can't read the bottom one. I can't crouch. Stark? Yeah, that's probably also... Well, that just says Norway, so Norwegian salmon. Uh, this is a uh, leffe. Uh, a leffe spoof. You're, you know, Rob, I read I'm left over spaghetti. I was really confused for a second. <laughs> um, this is... Oh, God, I know it, but I don't know the name. Like, the, the, the labels... I think that that's, uh, with the star on it, that's Heineken. Um, 
Is it Bud? Like the, the Czech version? Budweiser? Or is it the Spanish beer? No, that one has yellow in it. Well, anyway, a lot of things are just, you know. This, you know, the standard sodas. Is it, does the milk have a brulee? Uh, for me, that's funny because boer sounds like boer, which is farmer. And lay is milk. So <laughs> this is farmer milk. Uh, but that's that's a, a language joke more than that they meant to, I think. Don Bernardo. That's indeed one of the cheese. Some are funny. Not, not all of them. Some are just... Wait, mad one? Yeah, it is mad one. <laughs> Madone. Of course, the durian dish soap is still the funniest one to me. I can't read this. Boom. That That's also a pun on something. Uh, a the puns are from multiple countries, so I don't know all of them. Susu, I think that's also a, a joke in another language. Uh, bon Papa is from Bon Mama. Uh, bon Mama is a brand that also makes a lot of jams. Uh, so they made it Bon Papa. So good Papa instead of good Mama. <laughs> I thought that was a good pun. Crispy Chibi. Uh, chibi is just what you call someone who's tiny and cute, basically. And then Crispy Chibi is... Yeah, that's just sad. Um, <laughs> Uncle Tony's, of course. Lustu Pakru? I don't know that one. Azati. I'm just looking at the brands for just a moment. Uh, farine is just French for flour. Uh, I think Kraft. What was the Kraftwerk or something? I can't see the brand, can I? No. Kraftung. That, that's the German version. And then this one is just flour. Supplets flour even. A puree, puree. Of course, that's that's a joke. To be guess, no, don't know that one. Can't read that. Well, th this whole thing is a Heinz joke, I think. Uh, La Baleine. Wait. Oh, there's a there's a naked lady on the salt. Hold on, I didn't realize that. Don't look, kids. You have more than enough left over for more for one more than one plate. Sorry. Oh, Starcast tuna. Yeah, but see, that's what I mean. The brands are from all over the place. Um, this is Grand Marier. Uh The bottle does look like it, it's whiskey. It does look like. Uh... Yeah, this is the expensive version of Grand Marier, the blue Grand Marier, but. That's actually an actual brand, but it's for a, a orange liqueur. Uh, this is, of course, what? Chez Bon, yeah. <laughs> it's good, Chez Bon. Uh, I don't think Rob Fra is a real place, but I don't know that. Ah, oh, what's... One of the most well-known, but not very good, vodka brands. Uh, uh, I don't know that one. But this is the Leffe again. And this is... I think this is the... But I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. I've seen multiple brands with, that look like that. What was on the chips? Sorry. Uh, chip chips. Chips. Cofidos. <laughs> And chipos, chips mole. <laughs> oh yeah, potatoes? The raclette potatoes. Interesting, because raclette is just covering everything in lots of cheese. <laughs> Bond back bubble fubbus. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, yeah, it's... They're all good, uh, good jokes. Crispy potato pops. Oh, this is, op uh, this is also Bonback. 
Well, I mean, it makes sense, right? You make up a fake brand and then you give it multiple products. No, it's just standard ice cream. Mr. Bean Green Beans. Yeah, there you go. This I still don't know why it's called. Hold on. You need to re M. Wef Chicken. Probably also a pun. Krusty Piz. And Pizza De Niro. <laughs> okay, good fun. Good fun. Uh, so someone suggested today that I would order my storage in the order of... Did I pay my bills? No, not in that order. In this order. And honestly, it would be good, but this allows me to keep a closer eye on per, per aisle, basically. Oh, do I need to switch? The, I did switch things around, didn't I? Because the honey and peanut butter is no longer here. It's it's here. Uh, it's fine. That it's still shelf stuff, so that that's not that big a deal. I like having all the cleaning stuff together because it allows me to sort it. But it's not a bad idea. I wonder if it's worth the trouble. Oh, who's whose birthday? Hold on, what did I miss? Ian, happy birthday! Yes, we're gonna try and make lots of money. Let's start ordering. I am, I am seriously considering it because it might save space. However, it... Oh no, I remember now why I didn't do it. I should have said that. It's going to be impossible for me to put the boxes away. So what's going to happen is that I have everything ordered in the order of the licenses. So cereal, bread, flour, etc. I'll have a pile of boxes here, and I'll have no idea where anything is. <laughs> That's why I have it ordered this way. There we go. Okay. Decision made. Everything sorted. Let's do the cleaning stuff first, because I tend to forget it otherwise. Anything running really low? Nowhere. Okay. okay so we need green toilet paper and a bleach. Uh, that's it? No, no. I need the durian dish soap. It smells delicious. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. I doubt it. I very much doubt it. If it were to uh, really exist. Hey, Shane. Oh, no, Christian. He's got no sheep. Did you do anything fun for your birthday? Well, the devs haven't come up with this brand names, I don't think. Uh, I think most of these will be assets they have bought. But I'm not 100% sure because I haven't seen them in other games, I don't think. Any of these. I don't think so, at least. But I have absolutely no idea how many of these kinds of asset packs exist. But, I, yeah, I don't know. I, this is a single dev game, isn't it? Or am I mistaken with some other ones? Oh. The freezer. Uh, mixed veggies. Do we need an extra chicken? Almost. Uh, instead, do a fry. There you go. Okay, let's put this in so they can get to work. Lazy bumps. <laughs> uh, not that I've seen Shane, but I haven't been keeping a very close look on their. Discord. The thing is that the English chat is extremely busy and the dev sometimes drops by and tells something, but you need to scroll to 
through lots and lots of conversations if you want to look for something. Unless, well, yeah, I guess you can search for the death. But I had just, I thought that, wait and see. Luckily, I also have a whole bunch. Oh, that's the wrong one. You over here. You there. There we go. I have a lot of people who uh, do keep track of it and they'll, they'll tell me. <laughs> La Belaine sea salt. Oh, they, yeah. So that's the joke. I get it. Let me see if I can empty this. Yes. They don't always walk for one empty space. Yeah, right, Sam, and I didn't remember wrong. Yeah, that, that does mean that things will be uh, not as fast as we would wish them to, I guess we could say. But that's how it goes. Uh, big sushi and big uh, salmon. Because obviously we want more updates now, right? But yeah, no. That's not feasible. Uh, let me check on the sushi, because sometimes... Oh, yeah, I moved it. Hold on. One, two, four, six. We need an empty extra box. Um, yeah, to fill that up, I'm going to add one more fries, since I just emptied that extra box. Apple juice and red soda. All. Red, right? Yes. It's easy to mix them up sometimes. Uh, exclamation mark points, Jackson. Hey, Sonic. Streamlabs won't let you gamble anymore. There is a cooldown, yeah. Uh, shopping carts. I, I think shopping carts would look weird, but I would like it if they would carry baskets instead of bags. However, I can see why they didn't do that, because it would clip through everything. Right? <laughs> so it would look very weird. And that's also probably why we won't get shopping carts. Uh, we need loads of cheese. Well, we have enough money for that, so that's good. Mimulat, parmesan, and mozzarella. And mozzi. There you go. Right, we got the butter over there now because we moved stuff around. The only outlier is really the hummus, but I, I complained about that yesterday too. That really, where do you put the hummus, right? It doesn't belong with the dairy, it doesn't belong with the meat. We don't have any other spreads or anything. In the fridge, of course. But then I still find it weird that we put big bottles of soda in the fridge. But that might also be a balancing thing. Did I post on the Discord? That I'm going live? The the little mix up at the start really messed me up. I I I did not. Hold on. I, w I had it ready and then the stream wouldn't go as I wanted it to. And I got distracted by fixing that. 
And then of course everyone was waiting and I forgot to post. There we go. That's better. That can wait. Close. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and minimize that screen again. There we go. With cheese, it's a dip. Really? Because if I make a sauce and I dip uh, potato chips in it, it's a dip too. And it doesn't need cheese. But I call the, the hummus, I would call a spread. Because you spread it on like toast. But I guess you could dip it. I guess it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> you can eat it however you'd like. I generally put it on a sandwich if I have it. Yeah, so Cool Whip is one of those horror stories we have, uh, we've, I've heard from, uh, heard about from the US. It is a very weird concept to us. <laughs> I guess we do have things like that are like whipped cream, but vegetable, but Cool Whip is such a... Because we have like, okay, whipped cream, sugar and dairy. And maybe stabilizer in there, right? That's it. That's our ingredient list. You go look up the ingredient list from for Cool Whip. Good luck reading that. A chemistry lab would be happy with an ingredient list. <laughs> no, it's it's a weird concept for us. Uh... But I've seen it used a lot in uh, Minnesota salads that aren't really salads. I don't know if anyone's familiar with her. She's great. It's so funny. It's in the dip section. Where's the hummus over here? So here's the thing. The Dutch love their, we, we call them, we call them salads, translated of course. However, they are mostly mayonnaise based things to put on bread. Um, there's the, the egg salad, the egg with curry salad. There's the, the chicken peanut sauce salad. There, you can name it and it's it's a damn salad to put on bread. That's the section where we find the hummus. And it is a damn section. It is a complete section. The Dutch love their mayonnaise based salads. And yeah, so don't think of a salad as like, you know, leaf, uh, leafy greens, right? If you're interested, I'll, post, I'll I'll show you a picture of them. It's something I can't really explain because I've never seen anything like it. I, I guess you could, the closest you could come is like a potato salad, but that's different. That's separate. <laughs> if that's what you eat with a fork, you don't put that on bread generally. Hmm. I'll put them on the racks, but yet yeah, if I do that, the the restockers won't be able to uh, get to there, get to them. Luckily, I still have some spaces left over here and there for future updates. We need uh, the coffee, and I do think we need to start ordering like three coffee. Sorry, was it the light roast? It was the light roast. Coffee can go very fast suddenly. Plus it's a small box so we can easily fit three in there. Uh, the light brown sugar. I was really happy that I could uh, start at the beginning, Nima. So what happened with the booze that we got that license unlocked, that I couldn't fill up the storage and the shelves in one go. I, I could put a... I could afford a couple of boxes to put on the shelves, but nothing really for the for the storage. That took a couple of days. But with this one, it was much cheaper and I'd saved up a bit more money. So I was able to fill up the shelves and the storage in one go. So I don't need to catch up on money now, which is really nice.
sandwich bread. Uh, yeah, that's how it's originally eaten, Steve. But here, hummus is often uh, added to a sandwich with like vegetables or whatever you uh, you like. The Dutch love their bread. Uh, we need we need to order this side first because that's easier, actually. <laughs> now it's still got that elbows, elbows and blue rice. That's this one. Hot sauce and green oil. Oop. Orange flour and one potato. Then we needed, I do believe it was one keg of the blue one, yes, and then whiskey. There. Come here, that's, are you still the same damn little fruit fly from yesterday or do we have an infestation? For some reason I only ever see them when I'm streaming. And they're flying in front of my screen. I got him though. He's gone. F's in chat for the fruit fly that's been annoying me for two days. <laughs> How do you see, uh, say my name in Dutch? Well, yeah, Nima's created for uh, to be able to use in in English. So I just call it Nima. <laughs> well, actually, Missy slept on the on my PC when she first got here, but she's gotten a bit bigger since then. She, I don't think she's comfortable anymore. She probably rolls off. She is quite round, but that's she's not really too fat or anything. <laughs> that's just her. She's built very round. I don't know why. Not your day for gambling, lady. That happens. <laughs> Oh my god, Rob. <laughs> Gima. There you go. <laughs> ah, no. But yeah, that's... Uh, in my real name. Yeah, I, I tend to keep that private. I mean, it's not a big deal, but... For the fruit fly, his name was Bob. I don't know where he went, but uh, Bob is probably on the floor now somewhere. <laughs> Rip Bob. Uh, they have a fast food sim. Uh, who is they? And feel free to link it in the game suggestions channel on the Discord. I'll definitely check it out. Though I do have a whole bunch of games ready to play. I was very late today. Uh, I was working on some other stuff. Lost track of time, basically. Well, I had to finish them, so... Just one stream today. Desafitado, uh, thank you very much for following. Hello. A truck unloader, yeah. I, I do think they're working on that because it's obviously much requested. Okay, let's see if we can sort this out a little bit. I have a little less... Okay, that's not good. Um, I'm gonna lose that if that's in that corner. Give me an oil. There, now it doesn't fall disappear anymore. Okay. Jesus, come on, go over there. I 
I'm trying to sort it out a little bit so I'm not running back and forth 20 times or more often even. Red goes that way. Hold on, cheese is over here. Last little bit of the bridge stuff, I guess. Candy, coffee. You can go in here. Of course I can throw it. Watch me. More bread. The whiskey can go in here. This is all cheese. And more cheese. Okay. Stuck in the boxes. Red. I mean, sure, the other breads. <clears throat> and the last one is honey. More cheese. Yeah, we have a lot of cheese now. Potato. Is it your the other elbow? Pasta. And the rice, and I think that's it. I should have opened already. Sorry. Distracted by getting everything in the shelves. That's not how you handle fragile products. Hey, buy it your own risk here. <laughs> you started over your store? Oh, that works. I, yeah, you, you could just... Uh... <laughs> no wonder their things are dented. <laughs> The pizza will taste the same, whether it's dented or not. That is true. Though the pizza is frozen. So I guess it's... Uh... Uh, it's solid enough to survive. What box goes furthest when it's thrown? We can try that later. <laughs> mm. and, uh, lots of people have told me, Danny, that the books are good profit. Uh, however, I need level 70 to unlock them and a lot of money. I am very strong, Andy, especially in this game. Ah, your son is moving. Ah, oh, I hate moving. It's so much work. Yeah, we'll have to see how we're gonna set that up with the books. Because generally books are something you would have close to the register, wouldn't it? I so wish we had some smaller shelves. So that I could build like a nook. Because if need be, I could make this like closer together it the reason i did it like this is because if you put three bridges exactly here it covers the light switch you can you can reach it if you stand here but it's a pain 
Hey, Michelle. Yeah, just, you know, we have half a fridge, like this one. This is a half a fridge. Um, and this one, too. And that's great, because that allows you to fit exactly what you want. But we don't have anything of the sort, or even a different type of shelf. <clears throat> Which, you know, it doesn't seem like that would be very hard to add, because it can have basically the same programming as this shelf. But I don't know. So far, I've been able to fit it all in pretty well. So it's not much of a problem, but like, I would love to make like a book nook. Does that make sense? Like I could put the yogurt back here and then maybe do, still do three fridges and then one there and we could make a little book nook here. I mean, it wouldn't be perfect until we obviously get more space but it would work but that's near impossible with those huge shelves the big shelves or i would yeah so what i want is half shelves this way so that allows me more freedom but also i want low shelves or just a magazine rack <laughs> that would be great too No, the only rack we have is this, the storage rack. And you can only put full, of your, <clears throat> well, your boxes of goods in there. And the workers can only take stuff from these racks. Does it no can think about what she did? Yes. Yeah, that's what, that's exactly what I was thinking about, but I don't know how I would set up the fridges in that case. Now, I can fit a half a fridge here if I move these two a little bit back to the left. Then I still... Yeah, I need to get rid of those, actually. I don't really want to change the layout. I mean, I, I could easily... have less drinks, of course. Yeah, magazine rack would be good. But we don't have it. Yes, HLDN, that's true as well. Um, what's it called again? What you put here? Um, it has a name, I can't think of it right now. But that's been suggested since the start, since the game came out, <laughs> that we wanted something to put at the head here. Do we think there will be more levels for purchasing goods? I don't know. I just... I don't really need more levels. I honestly think that things are a bit too expensive, even at this point already. Because the next license is level 70. Now I'm level 62. It's doable, but it's 22,000. That's a lot. But even if that wasn't, the the growth is just, I need 24,000 for the next little block. And we're going to need four to get the whole store. I'll probably do, I'll try to do that before we get to the point that we get more license. Because if I, if I get these two blocks, I can move this backwards move these fridges along and then make a book nook there what fun is there after the max out level i don't yeah an end cap the front end yes same difference um yeah you basically finish the game but that's that's with every simulator really if you bought all the upgrades and got all the extras and you know your your whatever your building is done the game is done oh but there's a lot of things that aren't in the game i mean we don't have uh cans of fruit or jars of vegetables things like that oh 
but we do have five types of uh, sugar. <laughs> it also depends, of course, on what uh, what assets they can get for products, right? Like we mentioned before. <clears throat> because if they, I think they would need a 3D designer if they wanted more products of their own, basically. That's expensive. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> nope, can only fit one in there. helping <laughs> milk is full mm. weighing is coming in the future uh, also if you look in the hold on put you back if you look in the market, the, let me see here. Yeah, here. Crates. So that points. Yeah, that points me that, that tells me that it's. There's something more coming in the products. Different type of products. But weighing was, was in the, the roadmap. Story mode, that would be fun too. How much it would really add to the game, I don't know. Uh, we are gonna get orders from the town. I think they're gonna make the map bigger and you're gonna get orders that you need to deliver to people. Impulse buys, yes. Things that I, I hide and, uh, you know, at, uh, uh, on the headers and stuff. Here the headers are usually used for uh, sales in most stores. Because that gives them more, you know, more area to put those sales as well. Items in, on sale. Yeah, kids, I hide good. That's the candy. <laughs> I've seen a video on that. They gave this kid a camera on their, on you know, on their head on high height, and then send them into a store. It was great. You could, <laughs> you could see exactly what they were seeing. Hold on, because this one's almost empty. Do that one first. Uh, yeah, the real impulse uh, buys are usually in the where you're waiting at the checkout. Uh, candy bars and, and little items that seem cheap. Oh no, this is all full. Um, the new sugar. Oh, he's already grabbing that one. Good night, Michelle. <laughs> Have drones delivered. That could work too. But I think we're probably going to get a vehicle. Maybe the bike in front of the door. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Well, the reason I have it like this is because I like this color combo. So, but on the shelf. It would make more sense, wouldn't it? Oh, of course. Okay, hold on. <laughs> 
Um, doesn't really matter that much. There you go. Uh, but this is logical. It's light, medium, dark. And then there's the milk to go to in the, go into the dark. Sometimes I try to empty an almost empty box, but there's no room. The workers know automatically, of course, what's on the shelves and what they need to refill. Really low on beer there. I'll have to order that. Some black goo, maybe? No. You guys done? Oh, perfect. 1400. Well, that's not great, but we did have a. Let me see. Pulp and salt. Did have to buy a lot. <laughs> Here's the salt. I forgot to open my little list. Tisk, tisk. Uh, supermarket sim. Price list. There we go. Uh, two fifty. And the pulp is the yellow one, I do believe. Oh wow! That one got. Ch What's the profit on that one? Oh, it's still pretty good actually, considering it's only two dollars. Throwing a, a glance into the store to make sure we're not running low on something. You know, we accidentally sell more than two boxes. It could be that we're actually running low. But no, we're good. I still need to play the king of retail. Maybe I should do that sometime. <laughs> uh, a drink called Black Goo sounds disgusting. It really does. That's why I say it. Uh, but yeah. Kept you waiting, huh? Black Goo. Kujama. That sounds like it's a joke on a Japanese brand. Miss Gameland, thank you very much for following. Welcome, welcome. But yeah, Trader Life is great because it gives you so much Tra trade life 2 is a bit better than one because he basically remade the game in a different in such a way that you could do a lot more with it but it gives you a lot more freedom in decorating your store which is great however having to place each and every item by hand <laughs> in some ways wait why is there sushi there Either, uh, no, that's the place they put it if they can't. Maybe I ordered it too much of it or too early. They we're still working on it. Okay. It's solved. Alrighty, that's. Let me combine these two and just fill it up with a whole bunch. Yeah, you go grab that. Mm. 
Oh, now his other eye is weeping. No, that's very annoying for him. And for you. Because you need to take him to the vet. No, it's full. So we need one potato. Just to fill up, uh, make it even again. There you go. Alright. Freezer. How are we doing? Uh, green beans and potatoes, looks like. Oh. Oh, that probably happened before. That's why the sushi was over there. Beer and this one. Oh, and the large eggs. Okay, we got the beer, we got the eggs, we need the red cola. That's it. Oh no, it's uh Yeah, that's the one. It's not called cola. Let's see if I can uh, I think this is the white one. Ah oh, man, it doesn't <laughs> Okay, well worth a try, but that does mean we can wait with ordering it. We'll order it tomorrow. Okay, we still have a lot of those boxes there. And for the first time in a long time, we need to order some veal. I let it run down. I had a whole bunch of meat in my fridges and realized that since the, the restockers are just keeping up with it, I didn't need near as much meat or these boxed foods. And it was just basically keeping a whole lot of money on my shelves. So I I took it down by a lot. Saved me a lot of space, saved me a lot of money on fridges. And I don't have thousands of dollars just lying on the shelves doing nothing. Uh, let me see. Toilet paper first. Those big boxes here. Okay. There, fix it. I do hope that didn't confuse him, but I don't think so. Oh. And thank you all for over 50 likes. You finally got the YouTube notification? Yeah, I just... I always find it a bit weird how late that can be. Like, YouTube... YouTube's done a lot to get people streaming there instead of Twitch. But such simple things are just not seen to. But... Not to say that it's not annoying with a video or, you know, anything really, that it's not immediately. Because you plan your video for a certain time of the day that you think most people will be online, online on YouTube to watch your video. So if the notification goes out an hour later and everyone's eating dinner, yeah, <laughs> that's not gonna help, is it? There's not much you can do about it. And with streams, yeah. <clears throat> Obvious. You would think it wouldn't be so hard to have to just go out immediately. 
and to people's settings because oh, that also happens a lot that people tell me like oh yeah i have it turned set to all but i don't get the notifications yeah i i never have more than two notifications per day so i have no idea why that happens or more than three i mean i think you get three notifications each day Which I also think a bit silly, because if someone subscribes to you and wants all notifications, they should get all notifications. And if they want less, they can set that themselves. Oh, there's Bob too. The fruits fly boogaloo. <laughs> Alright, shelving. You never get notified? Yeah, you do have to turn it on. Okay, I'm just gonna see if I can put this box on the shelf now. Ah! Well, let's not order it then and I'll just check it tomorrow. Or make it an afternoon order. Uh, just peanut butter. That's not a lot. Oh, I know why we, uh... Why we had so much to order yesterday. It was also the whiskey. I ordered two boxes of whiskey, which is uh, about 500 bucks, I think. Yeah, but that's exactly what I mean, Wheelie. You turn it all on, you still don't get notifications. It's a bit like what I have with the Discord for this game. I have it followed to my own Discord, so we get like uh, updates and uh, important messages in my Discord, which I see earlier than their Discord, but they don't push it through. So it, it doesn't appear in my Discord. Like, why am I following them? Don't make it a an announcement channel if you're not going to do that, I guess. Though I should be better with that myself as well. <laughs> Oop. More eggs. That's some. And peanut butter. Okay. Well, this is all full except for... Oh, hold on. Can we empty this one? Probably not, right? No, of course not. That would be handy. Considering how fast they go, I'm going to order two anyway. Oh, right. I need to pay my bills. Almost forgot that. Hey, cowgirl. How you doing? Oh, the commercial was very loud. Yeah, we were, uh, actually was uh, I was discussing whether to get premium as well. Uh, simply to stop the music from stopping. But, you know, for, for music and such, I usually use Spotify. But if you were at the stream yesterday, I tried playing the same music on Spotify. However, even with my equalizer and Spotify turned on, I checked that. One song was way louder than the other. To the point that it got really annoying and I just turned it off and turned YouTube back off. And I really don't get that, why that happened. Uh, we need yellow oil and ketchup.
blue flower. Yeah, that's... Well, let me uh, open the store. Dang it. Yeah, an order for two items is a bit annoying. <laughs> but I'm sure I can find some other items I need too. Um, I know one recent game where you ride a horse. What's it called again? Uh, Bonded Spirits? Was that it? The prologue? I've played that one. That one's fun. <laughs> it's like, guess who? <laughs> did, did the character have white hair? Flip, flip, flip. Yeah, that does sound like Bonded Spirits. The Witcher! <laughs> That's a quite a difference there. I guess I guessed wrong. Yeah, I played The Witcher 1. I never got really got into 2 and I never played 3. Alrighty, let's see if anything is... Oh, the pepper. My dear, I overlooked the pepper. Uh, so I still have some flour to order. Is there anything I could add to that order? Yeah, if, if it's been picked up by the... by the workers... There you go. So that's a chicken. Yeah, this is all well stocked. Oh, yeah, maybe one of those beers that I didn't order today to get it a bit more equal that fits well hold on eat, 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 do. okay <laughs> I beat him to it he grabbed the full box so I wanted to empty that uh, <laughs> the box with one in there All right. Oh, that one would have been empty too. Well, I didn't know that when he picked it up. Milk. It looks like the milk is all gone. I'm trying to collect a little afternoon order without going overboard. Looks like we're very low on chocolate. Okay, one one more item to fill it up. That's chicken. Really matter that much. One out of wine. Okay. Nope. Close.
Oh, no. Oh, no, it's empty. I thought there were three in there. Very good. Can we empty this one? Let's check. Well, Jackson, I don't need any, um, any moderators at the moment. I have a whole band of them. Alright, I just ordered some extra stuff to... Well, I'll save us some work tomorrow, mostly. Uh, let me see if I can fill this one up myself, because that's the order from this morning. Hold on, it's here. Hmm, no, we're fine. I was worried it was very low. But we didn't sell much of that today. Milk, chocolates, I'm trying to empty the boxes first simply because they tend to grab like the full box and then the one, the one box with one bottle. It doesn't really matter though, I usually order when it runs out anyway. some beer who gets some beer no don't get the wine get the beer because now they take the wine <laughs> jackson i'm afraid there's a, a long list of people uh, before you have been supporting me for a very long time if i'd ever need another mod And, for example, Cowgirl isn't one because she's a streamer herself and should focus on her own channel. Uh, but also, you know, don't need one. I have a very well-behaved chat. <laughs> it's honestly great. I can't believe I barely have any issues at all with 100 people watching. There you go. Now, now we can put this up. But okay, that's enough with asking to be moderator, because that's the last way you become a moderator. But I'm, I'm serious. I have some amazing people who've been helping me out for a long time. Albino, Bad Gow, um, of course, who's made my website. Um, The only reason he isn't the moderator is because he's not in chat a whole lot. He's just doing his own thing, but he's helped me out a lot. You know, there's more people, so there's no need to ask. There's no no room available at the moment. Well, there probably never will be. That's simply not how it goes. Thank you. A wheelchair ski class? That sounds amazing. <laughs> well, have fun. Right, Rob? It is cool. Look, 
Kiwi, it's, it's not just that. I have people who followed me for, you know, since the beginning. Um, but to be a moderator, you, you know, <clears throat> you need to get along. You need to know each other for a bit. Uh, it's, a, it's a position of trust. Someone needs to be active, of course. And just, you know, I don't... I removed some moderators even because I don't need a long list of, of moderators. It just, uh, you know, you don't want a, a big wave of blue, neither in the Discord nor in in chat. Uh, sorry, I'm, where am I going with this water? Yeah, there you go. I was hoping we could fit with one bottle in there. Perfect, we're gonna have to order some drink and some beer, looks like. And some bleach. All nice to go with a piece of cheese, I guess. <laughs> well, let me, uh, since I can clearly see we need some very specific things, let me get the water. The bleach. Which one? The bottom one? That's this one. Uh, the cake. Might as well throw that in the order now. Anthony, thank you very much for subscribing. Well, there's a thing be between behaving, Kiwi, and behaving. Oh, I remember when we had those waves of bots on YouTube. That was bad. Really bad. Uh, I don't know what went wrong on YouTube, but it's... yeah. It was just wave after wave every day. People were all streaming on subscriber modes just to prevent it. Torben's been a member for two months. Thank you, thank you. Awesome long-term support. Yeah, I'm very glad they solved that. That was really bad. That one chicken in there. No, of course not. Yeah, I can't really see what I need if they're still refilling. Well, it looks like no one's refilling the cheese. But that does mean we need hummus. There, we can order that in the morning right away and then check the rest. Uh, everyone ready here? Yes. Okay, that's a little better. Uh, clean dish and chocolate. Man, I just ordered the chocolate yesterday. That's bad luck. <laughs> uh, and uh, le chocolat. Oh, that one tanked. 20 cents is 60. There you go. But yeah, all that means is that you have a little less profit, so it's not a big deal. Crimson got way more bots. That, that is weird. No idea why that was then. Aw, oh, thank you, cowgirl. Yes. I do want to get back to, to playing more. Uh, like things like Kebab Chef again. 
Uh, Debbie wanted to join with that too. I was actually going to play it with uh, Sir Simulot. But... Yeah. I think he's busy with other stuff. We'll see. No rush. But yeah, only so much time in a day and so many games to play. This must be the keg too, but I can't see. Yeah, there we go. I didn't see the picture on top. That's a weird thing that has changed since the update, that sometimes you can't see the picture well. Okay, that's all restocked. Itchy note. Well, I, I can fully understand that. Um, cause I, she started on Twitch, I think. YouTube is way more work than Twitch. It, it really is. Just the fact that you need a thumbnail to get anywhere on YouTube. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a lot of work. But there are upsides to it. It's like that you can actually be easier found because you... Oh, wait. I selected the freezer first. Sorry. I was, I was looking at the cleaning stuff. Um... Hold on, can I remove this one from the shelf? I can, perfect. Do a little uh, chicken combine. Yeah, Twitch is just much easier, you know, you don't have to... You only have to do like a description and uh, set the game that you're playing. You go live, boom, that's it. The only difficulty is to be found on Twitch. Much harder. Oh yeah, fun is important too, absolutely. But if you put a lot of effort in something and you don't see the return for it, I can understand that it's not fun anymore. Especially if maybe her Twitch went much better. I don't know. I'm honestly so busy with my own channel, I don't really keep track of a lot of other, other streamers. Uh, yeah, sorry, chicken. I was distracted by my whole story there. Do we need potatoes? I'm looking for something to even out my order. Toilet paper, maybe? Can we combine something? We can, if I take these out. That's the nice thing about those... Uh, these items that are two on a block. If you take one off, they immediately come to refill it. <laughs> I see you, cowgirl, there on Twitch. Okay. Now we can order. Uh, hold on. Are you not? There you go. Now it sorts. Okay, what else? The boom, and that's it. Looks like kaboom. Uh, yeah, but both have their up and down sides, Kiwi. Absolutely, because. Um, if you have overlap with a bigger streamer, you, you might get suggested under said streamer. And then people come watch you too, you know, if they're interested in the, in the same game. That doesn't really happen on Twitch. It needs to be directed. Uh, if it's a very popular game, you'll disappear somewhere at the bottom or in the middle and, you know, people won't find you. Things like that. And... But if, if you're popular and you're at the top, well, watch them pour in. And then, of course, there's the thing that you have categories on Twitch. 
that if someone's not following the category of said game, or there isn't the category I had that last time with Beat Sim Club, yeah, good luck getting found then. Uh, like amusement park sim, no one was following that one. Now there's the I think last time there were two people following it, so yeah, no one's coming to watch. Unless, of course, you have people who follow you and then they come watch the new game. Yeah, shelving. Uh, medium coffee, right? Powdered sugar. Hmm. All going very slow. don't have to order a whole lot today. What do we have here? Six pack and this is the new vodka? No. English is with a V, Nima. Sorry. <laughs> we spell it with a W, hence my mix up sometimes. Uh, the problem with restocking while I'm open, I mean, I I could open a bit earlier. Is uh, if you run out of something. I tend to open up when I uh, ordered everything and it's in the street. Or, you know, when I'm about to hit the shelf ordering. So about now. Not right away. Also, if they're picking, if you're open and they're picking up all the boxes from the shelves to refill stuff, it is really hard to see what you need to order because they might pick up a box of 32 items. Hold on. Sorry, I had to cough. Um, and you think the shelf is empty and you order more and then they try to put it back with, you know, 29. <laughs> you weren't anywhere close to being out. That's why I'm a little careful with that. It's not a, it's not a disaster because you can just put it on the shelf later, but it is annoying. Oh, this one's actually also very low. I'm going to quickly check if I can empty that. No, of course not. No. Oh, well, that can wait then. What's the last thing? Okay, got the six pack. That means we're here. That's full. Full. Here we go. Uh, chocolate honey cereal. Oh. oh. I keep coughing. One moment. Let me take a sip here.
Opa can buy what he wants. Fair enough. I only order when the shelf is empty. I'm just thinking about... Okay, let me order these two, but I think I'm gonna switch up the... the pasta. I've moved it down. It, the problem is these two look very much alike. These two packaging, but it's the penne and the elbows. But the boxes are, are so small. They look near the same for me. Okay, the rice is still good. Hmm. Oh, see, now I can open up. Wait, Gaugo got blocked? What happened? I don't see it. Oh, you unblocked it. <laughs> I didn't see it. Ah, yeah. No, she's fine. Rob fixed it. I just didn't see it because he fixed it before I could see it. Oh, nope. That's not what the beer goes. Oh, the booze. Booze and cereal. I think we're good for today. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, to get... Considering we need level 70... To get the next licenses, I think we need to focus on some more space now. I don't know if we can afford that today, because I need 24,000. So considering I spend about three to four thousand a day ordering stuff, yeah, I would like to have at least uh, twenty-eight thousand before we buy that. You know, in the morning, I mean. Box check. Nope, work it. Okay, so anything we might need to fill up this order a little bit. Really, two boxes and then four milk. Yeah, we'll let it run out. Um, see, I almost ordered sushi, but it wasn't out at all. Now this one is near out. There you go. indeed very small it's we're levels to 62 i'm not sure what the max level is it could be i mean that does sound logical right let me see because how do how do i have it in the store pasta oh uh, here elbow pasta spaghetti okay So, I 
penne. There. That way it's just as in the store and these two aren't next to each other. I think El Elbow... No, the, the red pasta is actually the first one uh, we unlocked. The starter item. Yeah, but level 70 is gonna be a bit. I need to find a way to speed this up. But... I mean, the suggestion was open the day when you start ordering or uh, just open the store, start the day when you start ordering. And it's not a bad idea. The, the biggest downside is this. They're moving boxes the whole day long. And that means it's nearly impossible to see what you need. What would be perfect if I could have a second person who simply calls out what I need? That uh, <laughs> that would be even better. I think so, Kiwi. I think they're going to change something with the ordering system where it becomes easier because a lot of people are requesting it. Oh yeah, the, the cat breed that we weren't allowed to type. I remember that HLDN. That was so silly. But that's the part of the standard word list of, uh, of Dreamlabs. And we got 69 likes. Giggity. <laughs> Last license you see is 90. Possibly. Oh yeah, pay the bills. Oh. Yeah, but you might still be able to go up in level. I don't know. I'd have to check... Oh, here, level 99. For the last, the last piece. It's literally her name. Are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> oh but I've had that too, Rob, where my last name was seen as a curse word. And I, I was Palia. I wasn't allowed to use last in Palia. Because some games actually look for curse words in the spelling of a, a word. Casper has that problem a lot too. His, his nickname is Casper Gaming. You get Asperg in there. Th that kind of weird combinations. Well, there's no use to go. I think 100 uh, will be the, the last one then. But it doesn't really matter after that, does it? If you go up further in level. Since 99 is uh, all you need. She said at level 62. Oh my god, we, we have so much more to do then. But I'm more interested in the, the licenses and having just, you know, enough space to put everything in the store them really maxing out my store. Even simulators have an ending. There has to be something where there's simply nothing more to do and you can start over and maybe do it differently. But that, that's a possibility. Maybe they'll add more products. Yeah. I mean, they can go as big as they want, right? Well... Yeah, this is the ending of the building. So to, to go further than that, but backwards, backwards, you could go a long way. I was just going to say the same, Auntie. What I really want to see is a way to set up <clears throat> a butcher counter, a bakery counter, you know, things like that. Even I don't, I don't need an NPC in them. I don't need uh, any special holes in the wall. Just give me the counters and I'll set it up myself. Give me some, some new shelvings. I would love to have some decorations and uh, some shelving. Though decorations or maybe passive income items like Trader Life has. Max level is 99. Wow, that's, that's frustrating. <laughs> that you can't get it to 100. 
like I would love to have uh, I don't know a coffee machine that's something we find often in bigger supermarkets people can buy a cup of coffee a uh, vending machine for maybe one for drinks and one for candy a uh, newspaper stand uh, geez what else did we have in trader life i think we had a hot dog stand in trader life too oh i think they're drowning in suggestions at this point but yeah i could Well, or even just a small, you don't need a whole Starbucks or, well, a Starbucks machine, but obviously they can't use that brand. But just a generic coffee, tea and hot chocolate machine. Um, you know, the, the type that tastes really bad, but you take anyway, because you have a long day to go. A <laughs> little kebab cafe. <laughs> yeah. It would be it would be hell of fun if if they turned this bottom floor into a cafe. I mean, we'd have to do some cleaning up here. Like you know, they, you know, when you're done with your store, you can run that too. <laughs> okay, I think the last customer's gone. Very good. Yeah, and still five complaints and I never see a single one. But it's so random which products are complained about. I don't really care anymore. Okay, good profit today, but then I have to order very little. Uh, cleaner and potatoes. Uh, the two prop cleaner is this one? Yes. I think that's now our worst earner in the store. If I'm not mistaken. Below a dollar profit. Uh, yeah, no, that one. Was it this potato? Am I mistaken? No, they're both good. Guess it changed very little. That happens sometimes. How are we doing on cheese? Are we like all out of cheese? We're out of a lot of cheese. Of course, oh, it's again and again, the box with one. Whether we have restockers or not, it happens so often. <laughs> yeah, just make it house flipper and rent out apartments upstairs. Uh oh it, you can go really far with the ideas for this game but they'll uh wait did i ah i must have misclicked i really thought i grabbed this one are you guys uh done not really well let me start with what we can paying our bills no, we don't have a loan very good all right wrong one this one okay we need this cleaner you just grab the hand soap i think the, mo the moment I start, you guys. Well, we do need toilet paper. Yeah, okay, we're out of shampoo. <laughs> he just put the last few in. Okay, I think we're good. Otherwise, with the cleaning stuff I'm trying to make sure I'm not ordering anything they're actually filling it doesn't look like they're doing anything with the freezer so we can order that freely what are you that is the first ice cream I think uh, so that's a chocolate one this this is the yeah that's that one but that's full what else? 
chicken. Okay, someone grab that chicken, please. Thank you, good sir. Now we can order two chickens. It's better because it can run out fast. Good. So this is why I don't really order while we're, while we're open. It's really hard to keep track of what we have and what we don't. Okay, we're all out of sushi. Is someone refilling the sushi? No. Do we need to order extra sushi? No. Just check. Pricey. But yeah, you can make this co uh, game as complicated as you wish. At this point, I would just really like to have more shelving. But different type of shelving, I mean. Different sizes, different colors. Um, simply because uh, meat... Well, yeah, the meat makes sense, but the meat is usually in like these... Here, at least, lower shelving. And sometimes it leans down a little bit so you can look on top of the meat. And there's a little shelf in front of it so it doesn't slide off the shelf. But anything that's up top will... I mean, it, it's also like this though. So that's fine with me. But I would love to have like a butcher... Butchery, I guess. <laughs> butcher shelf. But just some variation would be nice. It doesn't really even matter what it is. Um, that is scallops. And chicken. Ooh, that, that's an expensive order right there. Uh, that's true, HLDN. It does look like you're losing five customers when really all they did was refuse to buy five pro five customers refused to buy one product. They still bought other items. I think they don't stop buying after they have a complaint, right? A lot of reporting in general needs to be added, absolutely. Uh, things like the price changes for a day need to be easily viewable. And not what I need to do is pause the game and write it down so I can't forget it. That's of course silly when it should just be easily accessible. Even if it's just a tab in the market with price changes today, something like that. Um, an overview from last day's money expenses that kind of thing so you can look back the information's in the game so it shouldn't be too hard but well other than the price changes the rest yeah i can do without you know it's not a necessity for me i just want different shelving so i can Decorate my store, set up my stores. I really wish to. But in the end, when the game is done, it should have all of it. Sorry, I was looking at the chat there. Um, nope, go in there. At least they don't kick the boxes around, right? Let me get the cleaning stuff over there. Oh. Throw all the eggs. Boop. Don't worry, guys. We make omelets here. <laughs> Come on. That 
album wasn't in the shelf. <laughs> it looked like it. It was pretending. All right. Now the chicken. Kicks over here. Scallops. Ah, there's the other ice cream. That's this one. And chicken. Chimkin. Wait. Am I missing a box of chicken? Oh no, he was refilling it. Or... No! Oh, maybe a whole box went uh, on the shelf. Must have been very low. Either that or a car went off with it. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's continue on. <clears throat> hey, David! Finally seeing a life again. You've been busy. That's how it goes. Never enough time for fun stuff. Boop, boop. Um, we actually need all the square boxes of sugar. That's like nice and easy to remember. There you go. Anything over here? Yes, the candy. Let me throw a glance here. We shouldn't be out of coffee in any way. What about the sugars? Not sold more than a whole box anywhere. We need extra milk. It is running low. Very low. Uh, with low, I literally mean that there's a whole box will fit on that shelf. I'll, I'll see if I can uh, fit in some extra milk somewhere in an order. Okay. Uh, yeah, just the vodka. This one. We need the flowers. It's been a while. We haven't sold a lot of flour lately. It can really go up and down a lot for product. The red chips and two potatoes. Wait, if I search for potato. Get, yeah, it's potato chips. That's much easier. Okay, order that and then right remove that one uh, pasta and spaghetti and two rices pasta spaghetti and all the rice except for the Tony's Um, well, throw in one for Tony, and then add a milk, and then that order is full. Perfect. And we still got uh, almost $7,700 available, so it's going well. Money's going up. Have you been around the street yet in game? <laughs> Wait, someone... Someone stole your chicken feathers? What? <laughs> what are we talking about? Uh, there was a thing that you could find items on the streets, but I haven't been able to find anything. I do think there might be something you need to turn on in the save file, maybe, but yeah, I have no idea. 
It's always nice though that exp um, <clears throat> in Beer Factory that exploration is rewarded. So if you run around in Beer Factory and search the bushes, you'll actually find money. And it's a great way to start the game because it allows you to uh, order more and just do more orders in one go. Order more base grain, basically. Oh, I couldn't find the chicken. No, that's true. The, the car must have eaten it. It wasn't the cats. They're sleeping. <laughs> nap nap time. Throw the sugar. Chips goes that way. Uh, rice too, sorry. Sugar that way. Milk. I guess this is... Oh, that one went wrong. It's one way to sort your products, I guess. Oh, there's more milk. Well, it's still easier than running back and forth each time, so it works. I missed. Spaghetti. Sugar. Flour. And sugar. <laughs> How much sugar did you order? All of it. And this is booze. This needs to go in here. Okay, um, I opened the store, right? Yes, I see people walking. Rice. Uh, no, behind me. Flower goes up there, there you go. I can empty this one box. One box of Tony's rice. Uncle Tony's. be able to fit a whole box of milk in there so that shouldn't be a problem Fitting that up right away huh. wait did I order cheese oh there's my mistake I put the chicken on the cheese rack um, that's why I overlooked a whole bunch. Hold on. Which cheese? The Mimolette. Okay, we need all the cheese except mozzarella, really. Quickly order that before the day ends and turn on some light. 
So I put the chicken in the wrong shelf and then completely overlooked that whole shelf. Sloppy. <laughs> No, of course it's not possible, Tantrum, but it is a bit of a running gag. That the boxes, the, the cars eat boxes because they drive just through them. All right, I ordered all the cheese. I ordered possibly maybe a little bit too much cheese, but that's okay. Um, for this example, it's one in the box. Can I just... Uh... There you go. I am really glad though that they added numbers to the shelves in storage. Empty. And people keep accusing me of throwing away full boxes in the in the well not full, but that there's still items in the boxes. I promise, I check. I close the box and then if there's no picture on there. It's not uh, there's nothing in there and if it does happen eh. it's okay small mistake there we have cheese are we already out of rice again? Well, no one's restocking it. Or was this the other rice? No, I ordered it today. Huh, interesting. That pasta too. Weird. <laughs> chicken and cheese. No, I just misclicked and then put the chicken here and it's exactly on eye height. So I also I saw chicken and then you know I was like, oh I already did the meat and moved on. But I got it. I caught it. Oh are we out of a creme fresh? No, he's refilling it. That's fine then. How are we doing on the yogurt? Nope, we still got a lot on the shelf. They're probably not refilling it because it's not empty enough. Oh, well. That was an impressive one tiny little yogurt. They're, the little cups remind me of uh, a dessert I got as a little girl. But that, that wasn't yogurt, that was uh, what we call quark. It's, uh, it's similar, but it's less sour and much thicker. I have no idea what the difference is in creating it, but it was like fruit flavored. Tiny little cup just like that and I'd get it as a dessert. Hey Joey! You just subscribed, thank you very much. Yeah, if you don't have it on uh, public, then it doesn't pop up. guys okay oh well hello oh hold on i guess i ordered that too much i put it in the corner i forgot about it uh did um always nice it's a surprise box of pasta there you go <laughs> 
12k it's going very well uh, that's the elbow one right I really need to stop thinking I can empty like a box with one item in them and check first what we need I'll stick to uh... wait I ordered eggs didn't I yeah Guess they hadn't gotten to it yet. I am level 62. So I just unlocked the... Yesterday, uh, at the end of the stream yesterday, I unlocked the last... I, I can't check it, unfortunately, because they disappear if you unlock them. Um, but was it level 56, I think? You got three more... Licenses, I just unlocked the last one, which was the, uh, right, the cheese, the creme fraiche, and the yogurt, and uh, sugar, pasta, and rice. The other one was the, the new boozes, beer. What was the first one? Oh, the freezer stuff, I think, right? Yeah, I think so. This is one of the, some of the last items I got. So I reworked the whole fridge. I realized that we're not getting more fridge items until... Uh, what level is it? Level 80? 81? Something like that? Let me check. Yeah, so next they're coming at 70, 81. Um, well, actually... Because someone told me the soda can six pack is shelf. Maybe the bottled water? I don't know, but it's not much. Here, this one, level 81. This is yogurt. That's also. Uh... I wonder if that's a big pack of yogurt or another little one. I like my little yogurt fridge. I'll have to rework it again. I, I did fit it really similar to a real supermarket, as I know it. I mean, obviously we're missing fresh goods. Uh, if you come into a Dutch supermarket, the first thing you will see is generally fresh fruit. Well, maybe some sales to the side, you know. They, they'll put some sales at the entrance. Either bread. No, it's, it's one of two things. It's either bread and then the fruit and vegetable or immediately the fruit and vegetable. But that depends a little bit on where they have their bakery section. Because our bigger supermarkets generally all have a bakery section. And that needs to fit, of course, somewhere. So that depends. Oh, that's... We're out. Oh, we're... Oh. Finally. I yeah, have some empty boxes saved up. I might have to pass some in the future if I need more space. I think... So here's the thing, right? This, uh, supermarkets use science. They, they're testing some people and they use actually a lot of research to see what is the best layout for a store? So a lot of people will come to a store like, oh, I need dinner for tonight. What are we going to... And usually they'll grab, you know, some vegetable and they'll grab some meat. And you want them to meet some stuff on the way, right? Uh, of course, well, the fridges are usually in the back also, of course. Um... Because that's a good point where a lot of people need something, so they need to go through the entire store to get it. And, um, yeah, they'll make you go through the entire store. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. So there is indeed a best layout for, for a store. Not in the game, but in real life. 
And of course, expectations on what belongs together. Uh, what's the store expansion thing you're going next for? Um, likely space, growth, if that's what you mean. I don't have one to, ch I can't choose, right? I just need to get the next one. I think that's going to be this one, which is going to be really annoying because I, I think, oh no, actually, if it's, how big is it? Because this is three, right? It, it must be past the door. It must have been. The door changed. As you up um, as you grow your store, the door changes though, so I'm not entirely sure. But I don't think it changes a lot. So I think actually from here. Yeah, yeah, we might actually get to to like here. Oh I hope so. That does make it a lot easier to just extend this space. We'll see. So far, I find this to be a very easy layout. However, if I had more space, I would probably make it so I had a path in the back as well. I had that at first. I don't know if any of you remember, but probably some of you watched more of the streams. I had the shelves against the wall and then these aisles against it. But, but because there's a walkway for each shelf, there was a path going right there there to the store which means that everything was connected twice and it's it's better but it's safe i could add a lot more shelving when i removed that so that's why i did that i needed the space desperately oh yeah it's it's really set up on purpose the next area is what was it 24 something well the license has to wait to level 70 but it's 24,600. so double of what i have right now uh sorry let's go to the next day and now we have no complaints really i, I just really want more customers <laughs> But it, it seems so limited. Oh. Um, tea, ice cream, and cake. Okay. Tea and ice cream. Tea and ice cream. Uh, no, actually, that's going to be five. No, just, just five, isn't it? Yeah. Tea. Wrong aisle tea here Seven thirty, yes and i think it was the chocolate ice cream so that's this one i find things sometimes so uh they're funnily named does that make sense 30 there you go so this is, well, it's called chocolate pistache, but I would call this a pistache ice cream with chocolate, but they call it chocolate ice cream. This is strawberry and vanilla. I call it a strawberry cone because the vanilla is implied, <laughs> but they call it vanilla ice cream. And, uh, I don't remember what this one is called. Right, that, that one is the vanilla, I think. Hold on, let me check. Bills. They're multiplying. Ice cream. Yeah, no, that one's just called ice cream. You know, to make it easy. <laughs> Call that one an ice cream pop. That makes more sense. Because it, it is. Oh, it's even called Popo Popo. Popo Po. Sorry, it's called Popo Po. But it's it's one that you, you you push at the bottom and then at the yeah it's a push pop there you go that's the name in neapolitan with the three flavors it's not really a big thing here uh what's really popular here is like it's vanilla ice cream but it has like chocolate ice cream and it, it's a chocolate sauce it's like called three chocolates things like that 
Abba? No. No, that was um, Reese. The musical, the movie, whatever. <clears throat> However you want to call it, They're, it's both. Okay, cleaning spray. And we need the dishwasher tablets. We need two of this bleach and it looks like we need one of this. Hand soap and dish soap. Um, this is the, yeah, that's the dish soap, then add the hand soap. Order done. Now we do the bleach. Because then I can combine it with the toilet paper. These are two nearly empty boxes again. Let me sort that. Come on, buddy. Move it. I'm a big fan of Ben and Jerry's as well, but it's often very expensive. There, now I can just order three of that one to even out the numbers. There you go. I used to go to, just to name all the brands now, since we're doing that anyway, <clears throat> I used to go to haagen uh, They had these uh, pretty luxurious, like, yeah, cafes, ice cream cafes, where you could get a very expensive treat. So you'd get like... Um, uh, a waffle with haagen ice cream and then the dressings and you know it was a one once a year type of thing it was really good okay we need the push pops and we need pizza yeah bond back that's that one the cheddar and the tonies big tonies oh that's orderful that's an expensive one indeed but it's gonna last us a long time. Okay, that's sorted. Then we need freezer wise, these two veggies, both of them. A bit sad only having two veggies in the store. Yeah, but if you get it like the Hagen does store closed, I, th I think actually they all closed. So what happened here, and it, it's a real shame that they didn't expect it and didn't stop it from happening, was that... Um, so there were, there were a lot of rules for ice cream salons, like Italian ice cream and that kind of gelato, that kind of stuff. There were strict rules because it was considered um, like a cafe. Maybe not with alcohol, but with, with other things. And... Uh, they complained that, you know, since they only served ice cream and maybe a cup of coffee, they shouldn't be held to such strict rules. And, okay, so it was changed. But what happened was that instead of helping them, it exploded the cheap ice cream places. So places that had rows full of muffins and donuts and all just you know well yeah it's, it's cheap crap let's be honest and then you know rows with ice cream and so the gelato places were completely snowed under the really good ice cream places basically started disappearing left and right and it, it was such a, a shame because i happily pay a bit more for a good ice cream then go to such a big brand that has a shop on every corner. And it's still in the store, but yeah, not uh... so. Yeah, I think Haken does was outcompeted. I think Ben and Jerry's doesn't have any more like uh, their own ice cream places in the city anymore either. Actually, not entirely sure. 
I don't go into the big city that often. It's uh, the inner city, I mean, not the big city. I am in the big city. The inner city. It's just too touristy. There's not, you know, there's nothing I can get there. I can't get elsewhere easier. I don't do it for the restaurants anymore either because a lot of good places are now out, outside of Amsterdam and doing very well or outside the inner city because they draw in a large crowd anyway. They just go by car. Hokey pokey ice cream. Vanilla with honeycomb bits. Now that's a flavor that's not well known here at all. I mean, I know what, what honeycomb is, but I have never seen anything flavored with it. That does sound good. What I also like, since we're just naming everything now, is oppo. And that's a very low sugar variation that's actually good, in my opinion. It doesn't have a, a sweetener taste to it. And honestly, I can't wait till things like um, Monk's Hood and Alulos are finally okayed here. Because they're, you know, they're freely available in the US and a lot of other countries, but Europe, no, they're not allowed. I mean, I might be able to order some, I don't know, but they're not uh, okayed for, sell, for selling here. Make their own ice cream. Those usually uh, are the best. There was a really good one, but I think they closed last year. It was, uh, there is one, if anyone's ever in Amsterdam, there's one place that I highly recommend. And oh, what's it called? Uh, Lindemann, I think it's called. Uh, it's in the, in the main shopping street. If it's any way good weather, you will, they're closed in the winter, but you'll recognize them by the line around the block. Now, don't be scared off because they, they have their system. They go fast. Like, it's it's never more than a 10 minute wait, you know? It's... Oh, did I only order one milk? I did add one. And they make their own ice cream, but they only have one flavor. You just buy different sizes. And so you come in and you tell them what size you want. And you get a little little plastic coin and then you go to the bar where they scoop the ice cream you give them your coin and then you get your ice cream that way you're never standing around with your wallet and the ice creams at the same time and it's such a perfect solution for the smallest store i've ever seen because you need to hold your breath while walking back out past everyone basically <laughs> it's extremely small but it's whipped cream ice cream I think I filled up all the cheese well yesterday, yeah. Um, so what they have is they have a whipped cream ice cream they make in store. Uh, the only time you might have to wait a little longer is if they're switching out the containers because they make it in the back. And, and whipped cream, so they have like, you can get like very cheaply uh, a cone with like an enormous scoop of ice cream and they'll scoop uh, another batch of Vanderlinde, thank you, Vanderlinde, thank you. That's it. He knows. He knows what's up. But yeah, big scoop of whipped cream on top as well. So don't, if you don't like whipped cream, of course, it's not for you. But it's it is the creamiest of all ice creams I've ever had. Absolutely delicious. I haven't had it in a long time because whenever I am in the inner city, we're either going out to eat. So, you know, you're not really walking past and grabbing an ice cream there. It's winter or it's King's Day and they're closed on King's Day. And I'm always standing there like, why are you closed on King's Day? <laughs> this should be your best selling day ever. But no, they're always closed on King's Day, unfortunately. Because that's the time that I really walk past there. And that's coming up soon again, too. Always fun. Uh, let me see. We need uh, Bon Papa. Honey. Yeah, honey. And small bread. Oh, <laughs> I misclicked again. Oh, 
Oh, the cake. Um, they also have uh, what we call their, they're called bitter cookies. And they're cookies, but they're called bitter because they're, they used to be made with bitter almonds. Um, they have a very strong amaretto flavor. So almond flavor. And those are also very good. Obviously, I don't think they're made with bitter almonds anymore. What is King's Day? King's Day is the birthday of the king. And for a, I don't, I have no idea when it started, but for as long as I can remember, and probably my mother can remember, is that on, well, it used to be Queen's Day, obviously. So, because we had a queen before. Two queens, even. Right? Before that, probably, I don't know what came before that. I have no idea. History is not my strong suit. Um... So what happens is that it's a national holiday. The only places that are open is basically Horka, the, the cafes, restaurants, things like that. Uh, but they'll usually, it's so busy, they'll usually have a special menu for that day. Like Christmas, you know, the, a restaurant might have a special menu for Christmas. They'll have a special menu for King's Day because it's too busy for them to have their normal menu up. And everyone will go out, uh, most people, especially children, will go out very early in the morning. They'll set up with all their trash and junk. Well, not trash, but, you know, with their junk. And they'll sell it on the free market. And the whole city will be full of people selling their stuff. People, Some people will set up games. We have a big park in the center of Amsterdam that's specifically set up only for children to sit there. I mean, I'm assuming their parents can join, but... It is meant specifically for children. And the whole city will go out and the hundreds of thousands of people will come to Amsterdam. Um, we've also come, got, went elsewhere because it is really, really, really busy in Amsterdam. But it's, it is an experience to have. So you, we usually go out really early in the morning. Well, not too early. Recently, the last couple of years, it started later and later. So we went out later and later. But um, we walk through... Well, we take the, the metro to the inner city. And then we'll walk. Because there's no buses or trams. Everything's closed off. There's no cars. And everyone dresses in orange. Yes. That is correct. Well, every, near everyone will have some kind of orange decoration. Because... It's often pretty cold still, especially early in the morning. So I'll have an orange shirt on, but you won't see it, you know, like that. <laughs> what is this? That's honey. I couldn't see. So yeah, we get dressed in... Let me be clear. We get dressed in an orange shirt, which I put a coat over. Um, I'll have on orange bunny ears. We both will have on because it's the no one else has them. We bought them years ago. And it was one of those limited items, and I had never seen anyone else with them. So it's a perfect way to find each other in the crowds. Because those bunny ears will stick out over everything, especially on Osaka, because she's really tall. And we'll go out early in the morning with our bunny ears. Well, maybe I'll have my bunny ears off in the bus, because it's not very practical. But um, And we'll go to the inner city, and we'll, we'll, we'll land at Central Station. Everyone lands at Central Station. <laughs> this is very busy immediately, even then, in early in the morning. So you start walking. We usually walk a certain route, um, go past the canals. Uh, the Western Street is usually quite busy. Then you go into the little streets. And that's when it starts getting crowded. Oh my goodness. At around 12 no to noon to 1 p.m., it is... It is so crowded. Uh, that's when we head home. <laughs> because you can't walk anymore. It is... Um, the, any, any place you can get a drink will start filling up at that time. And while it would be fun to, you know, go sit somewhere and maybe listen to the music, it is usually so busy that we just, you know, we've been walking for hours at that point. We usually decide to go home. I never go out to eat. Uh, we always get something on the way, like a sandwich or 
a roast ham sandwich usually, actually. Uh, do I just need one of that while we're while we're yapping on? No, just just do two. There's only one in there. Should just search for beer because we also need the six pack. Yeah, the blue one. So you're you have to realize that at a certain hello yeah there we go. At a certain point you're walking through the streets, and you have all these people around you and everyone's partying. And there are kids selling their toys, and there are people selling their, their junk from the attic. And the the cafe there is, is already selling beer at 10, 10 a.m. <laughs> and they're playing music, and a little bit further someone's singing karaoke, and that's one street. Good luck. <laughs> it's great. It's absolutely fantastic. And, but yes, it does get too busy at a certain point. That, Especially around the canals, you can only shovel. Wait, hello. Oh, I threw some boxes on the shelf. Oopsie. Um. I'm I'm gonna check this one myself real quick because I think I ordered that too. I just found some boxes on the shelves. I was wondering why we ran out of rice so quickly <laughs> no we're good on the rice did i order that already no very good remove uh, the rice okay so that's all full um did i order the hot sauce no, because it comes in a small box and there was no small box there. Oop. Yeah, there used to be concerts uh, throughout the whole city on the big squares, but they stopped that. It became too dangerous, too busy. Everyone, at a certain point when you knew the concert would start, everyone would head there. So you'd have these enormous masses of people moving through these enormous busy streets towards the concerts and it got too dangerous there was absolutely no way anyone could leave move or do anything at that point so they um, moved the concerts to places outside the city so you had to specifically go there to go to see the concert to, you know, that removed a lot of people from the city. Oh, did I? Hold on. I grabbed the wrong box in there. No, this one's full. Oh, I guess I was mistaken. I thought there was one in there. Well, order one then. Okay, I got a bit distracted with all the yapping on about King's Day. Trying to see if I missed anything or maybe... Uh, that's this one. There you go. Okay. Open the store. Alright, Kiwi. But yeah, so... <clears throat> now, I, I told people about this before. King's Day is... Um, so let me think. It, oh, I always forget. It's in my... Uh, <laughs> it's on my calendar. But let me see here. King's... Day. Yeah, that's the 27th. So, one of the biggest jokes around King's Day is that it used to be Queen's Day on the 28th of April. And because Queen Juliana, had, her birthday was on the 28th. How um, Then Queen Beatrix became queen, but her birthday was in the winter. So they kept it on the 28th of April. And then her son became king. 
but his birthday was on the 27th of April. So they moved it, right? Because it's supposed to be on the birthday. But it had been on the 28th for so long that people still arrive in the city on the 28th. Uh, especially tourists uh, to celebrate. We call them mistake tourists. Vergis toeristen. <laughs> It happens a lot. Every year there'll, there'll be a news item about people arriving on Central Station again, not understanding why there's no King's Day. They arrived the a day too late. Which is pretty sucky, of course, but yeah. Give me you. That's more hot sauce. Just make it a two-day celebration. I don't think we'd survive. It's the only day of the year that the Dutch go really crazy. A lot of people will also just prepare to stay home. You have to realize. Simply because it's completely overcrowded. Now you have to realize that there's also smaller areas in the city. Where there's like little markets set up where people can sell their stuff. There's a, Every city has an area or lots of streets, depending on how big the city is, where people will sell. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it's gotten a lot less in the last year. And the party is still huge, but the selling has gotten uh, smaller, less. I guess lots more people are now, you know, selling things secondhand instead of on King's Day. Yeah, we'll have to see what we do uh, do this year. I would like... Uh, so we still have a lot of stuff from my dad and things. So it would be nice if we could sell stuff. You know, it's an easy way to just sell items on the market because you just you put your stuff down hoping it's good weather of course and you know people ask you how much is this how much is this and you sell it and it's, uh, it's done but you do need to get it there and if you're there with the car you won't be able to leave with the car be uh, until next day because ever the whole city will be lined off so what you actually need to do is, well, po probably what's easier to do would be if Osaka dropped me all our stuff off to sell somewhere and then he drives home and comes back with the metro. That would actually be the, the proper way to do it. That way you don't have your car in a party city set up. Look at them all go. Gigantic boxes with beer. In the meantime, we're just uh, selling another day for another day. I'll, uh, I guess I'll restock the, the fridge area a bit while they keep up with the rest of the store. They, they automatically know what needs to be stocked. I don't. Oh, I mean, nothing there needs to be stocked. Oh, pretty full. Yeah, they are smart, but of course the computer's just, you know, telling them what's in the store. So that's handy. I'm just trying to save them a bit of time so we don't have to wait so long for them.
pink soda. Oh, oh, we're out. I'll be. Beep, beep. And we're almost up to 100 likes. Thanks, everyone. Very close now. A couple more. You guys can do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one. So what I think they do is that they don't restock something until a certain percentage of a shelf is empty. But I do wonder if it differs per item. Because things like the... Well, I don't know about the chicken, but everything that has two on a block... Will... Will restock at 50%. So toilet paper and potatoes. But others have different percentages, like tea. Tea restocks really late, but then there's a lot of items on the shelf, so... I'm not entirely sure how that's calculated. Yeah, how are we doing on eggs? Looks like just a little one. Yeah. Should just, yeah, they're still in there. I can see the bottom of the picture. I'm walking through them a lot, unfortunately. Boop, boop. Uh, do we have some creme fraiche or are we out? We are out. Or one of them just picked it up. Uh, Mimulet and Comte could use some restocking. But yeah, see, this looks. Well, it doesn't look empty to me, but I guess it hasn't surpassed. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I missed. There you go. Quickly fix that. Before they restock that shelf too, and then you're stuck. Yeah, each shelf was only missing two, so it doesn't get restocked, even though they could fit a whole bunch on there. Empty. Yeah, that, that's what I said. Yeah, there's a certain percentage... But I think it's a percentage on one block. So, as you can see, we could fit quite some soap on this, but not a single of these four blocks. So I call this a block and this is a shelf. So it's four blocks, two shelves. Um, there, none of them are below 50 or on or below 50%. But I'm not entirely sure on that, whether that's just a priority thing and then they go on to restock more items or they simply leave that until it's empty enough. Leaving it till it's empty enough makes sense to me though. Well, they're not done yet, but the registers are, so we're going on. Oh, oh, that's a lot. Let me see. Spaghetti. Uh. Uh, Tony Pizza. And Ale Six. Okay. 
So that's this one. Oh, oh hold on. That went too far. There you go. It's uh, still below 10. But that's 40 cents. So that's exactly 10. There you go. Uh, spaghetti. Right, I changed that about. Seventy. Cleaner. Uh, Kilomol cleaner. Which one was that? Must be. is that this one? It never says the. Yeah, it, it says on the bottle Kilomol. Okay. It's Forty cents. So it's seventy as well. And then the big Tony pizza is the newest one so that's this one it's a very expensive pizza that 50 cents is 70 there we go oh no but that's what i meant with it differs per item but it's, it seems to be 50% in a lot of cases. But only when it's one block. Yeah, it's, it's hard to check, right? Well, let's do a test. Oh no, I don't have any mayo. Well, it doesn't really matter. They do their job. It's uh, it's hard to test. Yeah, see, now they're at the point where they're refilling other items as well. I think the emptiness of the shelf is just a priority thing. And then they start... But they're not... They don't fill up everything. Is that box empty? Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah, that one was clearly not 50%. But they do give priority to things that are lower. Now, I'm not entirely sure yet how, it, how exactly it works like, until what point do they stop restocking because they don't restock to 100 percent but that one needed three items on one block four in total uh that box was empty yeah, that, that's that's why it's difficult to keep track okay the candy Okay, so three items. Three items seems to be the point where they still restock. And then they fill up the rest. If they have it. But I've never seen them walk for two. Well, here's three as well. But we're probably out of flour. Well, that was obviously lower. Yeah, three as well. Let's see, these are all missing. Yeah, it's hard to check because the items that they're not restocking are probably just empty in the... Do they do... Hmm. I don't think so. Because this one's missing two. And we have it right here. Yeah, this one. Well. No, he's done. So, no. If there's two, they don't restock. This one is missing three. I think. But I haven't restocked. But the are we out of ham? Yes. Okay. Just... 
Hmm. We're missing three on this one. They haven't restocked that either. So it must be a percentage thing. Three of 16. Maybe 20%? It has to be below 20% until they stop restocking, but give priority to higher percentages of emptiness. It could be. But yeah, they haven't restocked this one, uh, nor this one, even though we have those items in the in store. So that tells me that they're, they don't go to 100%. And honestly, it would be ridiculous if they did. They would be going on for hours, restocking everything. There needs to be a minimal limit. Uh, yeah, let's just put it on cleaning first. Otherwise, they keep, they keep walking for every damn jar that gets sold. That's not going to work, is it? Let me see. We need two bleach and some... There you go. I don't know what I ran into there. Uh, some boom. This bleach. Check something here. Yeah, this one is full. <laughs> okay. One of the other bleach. And a purple toilet paper, that's the cleaning stuff. Then we need the freezer. Fries and, well, jittery everything potato. Don't think we need chicken. No, we have six. I think that'll be okay. The fridge. Right over here. Checky, 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 checky. Big eggs. Oh, accidentally clicked in again. Mm. Yeah. Like, we only have three bottles of that, but there's so much in the fridge, it doesn't matter. We do need the pink soda. Hey, Rebo. Uh, this is Supermarket Simulator. ordered these things in ages i think yeah no that's not true the scallops ordered that a couple of days ago what do we need here ham and steak that's it hold on i my little cheat note was covering twitch chat my goodness hey mary i saw you pop up but i couldn't see the start of your name there sorry <laughs> Uh, we need the cheese and creme fresh. This cheese, Gruyere, it is. Order that. Um, I think they have it in here as clotted cream. Yes, it's such a weird difference. They call it clotted cream, but the packaging says uh, creme fresh. I don't know why they didn't just name it Creme Fresh. It's not like it's a brand. Yeah, guys. Look. I think my store looks very nice. It was a lot of work. <laughs> uh, where was I? Right. Creme Fresh. And this is the freezer already. That means we're at the shelving. Let's throw this in the store. Get that stocked up for the stockers to fill the shelves with again Oop. oh hold on. <laughs> yes I can there you go game keeps telling me I can't throw stuff how dare it my boxes fell the wrong way. All the way over there. Can I 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that works. <laughs> Catch. I'm not aiming for him, I'm just trying to get it over the fence. Yeah, catch the eggs. Oh no, you broke it. There, yeah, it's just bouncing off the other box into the, into the storage. Perfect. Okay. I didn't want to walk back and forth the whole time. This works. Everybody inside. Okay. Okay, so this is all the cleaning stuff, fridge and freezer. Then we can order the sh everything for the shelves. I need to have a drink. That's better. Oh, I need four light. <coughs> wow, five voice. <coughs> a little bubble from the cola went wrong there. We're almost up to a hundred, so only four likes away. Almost there. Okay, that's all in. Let's continue with the coffee. Oh, huh. interesting. Uh, usually I sell a lot of coffee and need to order it every day. Hmm. Guess not. Probably means we'll need to order it all tomorrow, but... Oh, we need green tea. Oh, well, it's right here. No need to search. That's always an expensive joke, the green tea. Really, one box should be enough, but in the end, it doesn't matter. Uh, ta -tum. That's all good. The cake and the bread. This cake. And the big bread. Oh, we're out of whiskey again. I guess it's really popular. I think that's one of my highest orders yet, 1400s. Because it was a combination of whiskey and clotted cream. And then two boxes each. Uh, do I need to do some... Nah, it's fine. Uh, combining, I wanted to say. Do I need to do some combining? All the pasta except for spaghetti. Of course, the one that went down in price, that's the one we don't need. All the rice, except for the white rice. And then we get to the mayo and chips. In this case, the yellow chips. Let me get to the potatoes. Uh, sorry, how many? Two? Do we need mashed potatoes? No. 
We do need blue flower. See, you didn't order that. There you go. Okay, that's... We have a little bit of space left to order, so I'm going to combine these two chickens. No, I can't put this down, so let him grab that one. Then this can go in there. Buy an extra. One space left. No, that's all well full. Nothing with one roll in it or something. Good night, Torben. Hey, Bob. Well, since we're stocking up on expensive stuff, might as well buy a box of tea. There you go. All right, that's done. Let's open up the store. I have really reached the, the point where it's going to take some extra time to get money. And there's not really any way for me to up my profit. I tested out the pricing. It's pretty much maxed out. I mean, obviously, maybe there's a way to, to do it better. But for my testing, this works out fine. But whether I'm going for a space upgrade or for licensing, I'm gonna need over 20k. Well, I'm, I'm probably, uh, whichever one I take, I'm gonna need 28k to do it. I need the level, of course, for the licensing, but you know what I mean. Right? Right, yes. They look so alike. On the little picture. Wait, I did that wrong. This is the elbows. There's the whiskey. Okay, let me see about this. Rice that way. What are you? Also rice. Cake that way. Flour. Tea. More rice. Uh, clotted cream. Right there. There, this way we're not running back and forth the whole time. Potatoes. Cake. Tea. Bread. And rice. Uh, just have to be careful with... Yeah, see, I threw some boxes into the shelving. You do need to be careful with that. Did I not order that pasta? No, I'm... I'm Hold on, do I stuff stuff? No. It could be that it's already in the shelving and we're just out. 
Yeah, maybe we're very low. I didn't. Oh, wait. There you go. I told myself, check the shelving. There. I was worried that one was very low, so I just filled them myself. Priority refill. Bread. Cake. Tea and more bread. Alrighty. Can I stand on your head? Not really, but I can do this. I'm trying to take a nice picture, but everyone's walking through each other. late <laughs> my lovely little cheese corner here every time someone nice looking passes by they get a box through the head for my refillers and we got over a hundred likes thanks everyone welcome back Wally. it is very busy but I, I need some more customers really Sorry for the boxes in the face, by the way. It is a bit annoying, isn't it? I'm just trying to take a nice picture of my fridge section, but they're not grabbing a fridge section. My nice cheese section, dairy section. No one pretty looking. Yeah, now I have that guy in the corner. Well, he's grabbing it from the roof, looks like. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> now you got the finish the day thing in the, in the, in the screen. Wow, oh, we're level 63. And the money is, yeah, coming in slow. I do think there needs to be some kind of balancing. Either the light sings. And the, the space upgrades need to be a little cheaper, or b quite a bit cheaper. Or we need a way to earn more money, because what I don't get is what... I bought so many upgrades, but it hasn't improved my profit at all. None. In fact, at a certain point, I dipped so low that I went to up all my pricing. I upped all my pricing, I mean, I made everything more expensive. Well, except for the really cheap items. I kept those low. So far, it's going okay. The complaints go really up and down a lot. Oop. Since we're waiting on the free stalkers, let me help them out. This one. There you go. 
keep telling us. I think I maybe need to order a little bit more of the small eggs. Is there, there's probably less in a box. Well, no, it's the same. We're just selling a lot more of them. I guess maybe they're quite cheap. Huh, yeah. <laughs> it is cheaper to buy the little eggs than to buy the big eggs. <laughs> per egg. That is funny. We're waiting on the last customers there. Do we have shampoo? I thought we just bought that. Yeah. Yeah, they're working on refilling the whole store now. How's it going over here? Yeah, that's okay. There's enough on the shelves not to worry. Hmm. All the cleaning stuff is still really full. Interesting, I thought we'd be lower on coffee at this point. See if I can empty this one out. Nope. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, let's finish the day. Uh, oh, oh, almost missed uh, the price changes there. Let me see here. Potato pops. Tony rice. Chocolate. And oil. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah. So 20 cents. Oh, just make it five. No. Not allowed. There we go. Okay. Chocolate. Couldn't see what else I wrote. What, um, the rice, this one, above 10, so 50 cents, so that's 10 cents down. And the last one is the potato pops. That one went way up. 50 cents, so that's 60. There you go. Hey, cowgirl. Very good. Yeah, they're still restocking. And like I said before, it's really hard to order when they're still busy with it. Well, let's see. What do we need at the very least? Because we already saw this one. Chicken is full, so what do we need for that? One. Uh, so one green toilet paper and one chicken. Cleaning. And then we put it on the freezer. 
chimkin. Anything else in the freezer? No, absolutely nothing. Well, that was <laughs> that was the easiest ordering uh, session of ever. Big sushi. We're not very low, so two boxes will do. Apple juice and the small eggs. One bottle of beer, but yeah, it doesn't fit, so it's fine. Let it run empty first. Uh, yeah, it's going well, but just, you know, it's slow going with the money at this point. So my, my only real complaint about the game at this point is that it doesn't feel like we're rewarded for all our hard work, right? Really, all of them have one in the box, I swear. Let me see if we can put some on the shelf in here. Yeah, the, the white one we can. The white box, the, the ham pastry. Uh, so, you know, we, we spend a lot of money in getting the storage done, get it, buying the store space, getting our workers, everything set up. But we're not making more profit. So balance-wise, it's slowed down to a crawl. No, they don't break down. They just work. You pay electricity for them. But I'm unsure how much, because the electricity also depends on... How long you have your lights burning? So it's hard to compare if you don't exactly turn on the lights on the exact same time. All right, let's check this then. That's the ham pastry and the moussaka. Oh, add the gal galette too. There's only one box there. Okay, that's that. Galette. Uh, the... Yes. And what was the other one with, I think, the lasagna? Yeah. Just toss them all in there. Ah, uh, pum pum pum. Ground beef and butter. Ah, 1500. That's the priciest one still. That's what you get with all those boxes. At least we'll be done for a whole while with those. I keep losing your temper with the stockings for use for opening new boxes instead of or yeah, emptying the old ones. Uh, that's why I have it set up that I order two boxes when it's empty. And if there's one box on there, I'll. I'll probably not put the new boxes on until that one is gone. I could have waited a day to buy those, but I was busy with those boxes anyway. Might as well do today. Um, right, that means we're done with the fridge. Let's get it in there. But I fully understand what you mean. But if you just leave it to run empty, as long as you have enough space in your store that you can carry that, it's not much of a problem. The only thing that's really a problem is with the toilet paper, the potatoes and the chicken. Because sometimes you have three or four boxes with just one item in there. Yeah, that might be something they're adding in the future, Lucky. Where there's actually spoilage for some items, so we'll have to see. It, it is a bit annoying. Yeah, I do agree. I just made it so that it doesn't bother me that much. And when it happens with things like the toilet paper, 
you know, I'll have one box with three items and one box with one. I'll use the box of three to take one off the shelf. They'll refill it with the box of one, throw away the box, and I'll have one box of four again. Oh, damn it, that's not where you go. I, I was trying to open it and accidentally clicked on the shelf, but it was eggs. Right, that's... we were gonna put these over here. I just said it. Let's still put it on the shelf. That's the lasagna. This is the galette. Also one in there. I mean, I have some time left over in the game, usually, where I can sort things like that out myself. You know, grab the full box to force them to use the empty box. Uh, empty the shelf with an almost full box so they have to grab the one that's almost empty to refill it. You know, I have to wait for them a lot anyway to, to work. Um... Are they adding a whip so you can make them work faster? No, I don't think so. Sorry. Obviously, the, the stalkers are surprisingly fast. However, I think the stalkers would be better if they looked at a percentage of the total on your shelves instead of the total on one block the percentage of one block. And I, I think that's what they do. I'm not 100% sure. Because if I have, uh, let's say, 20 in the store, they don't really need to restock it. it they are busy with restocking for a very long time in the evening. And I need to wait on them to be able to order. Otherwise, I order something that I might have. A lot of, just because they're carrying the box around the store. And this one. Okay, that's the fridge section. Done. Very good. Hey, Casper. Casper has been a member for 29 months. Thank you, thank you. How are you doing, Casper? Yeah, Moxie, you really need to let it go. I agree. Yeah, so what I might do, is, I mean, is let's say I can put this one on the... No, I can't put it on the ground anymore. That's the problem, right? But let's say these two are gone. I'll grab this box, take one off the shelf. The stalker will do this one. And then I can order the rest. And then I leave it alone. <laughs> Once it's filled, I leave it alone. You're doing good. That's awesome. Oh, I need a stretch. <sighs> Same position for too long. Alright, that's those sections. Time for the shelving. Milk and medium coffee. Uh, light brown sugar and chocolate. Then just combine those. I keep grabbing that, sorry. Chocolate. And sugar. That's this one. Alright, what do we, oh we need a lot of booze. We need all the vodka and all the kegs. It's going to be an expensive day again. Hey, Chiara. Hello, hello. Hmm. Yeah, I do know people have complained a lot about the speed of the, the cashiers. Oh, not cereal. Yes. 
Did I do the right one? No, no, it's not chocolate. I need the, the crispy one. There you go. But it never bothered me much. I've always seen it like an, uh, an extra backup, basically, instead of a real need. Because if needs bust, I could grab... Um, grab one of my registers and just jump in to help but it's very mouse intensive so i'm actually happy that i don't need to do that anymore uh 63 level 63 ketchup and oil last couple of shelves here for today the red flowers and that's it well red and orange really perfect all right open the store and let's start throwing uh, well i wanted to grab that one first There you are. <laughs> Don't you yell at me. No so rude. Your store is maxed out already, my goodness. I wouldn't be able to play this so long every day. Like yesterday, I, I was uh, almost at seven hours. That's uh, more than enough for me. Oh. So really, the, the coming bit, I'm going to just need to make some money. So I, I will be playing some other games too the coming week. Uh, I did promise to play more amusement park sim. It was actually planned for today, but I also needed to do some other stuff. So that'll... Well, I'll, I'll see. It will be one of these days soon. But yeah, I have a whole bunch of kind of games too I want to play. It's always a bit much. Boop, boop. Hey, Rose. Oh, reincarn. Uh, the weakest tamer. You posted that on the Discord. I forgot to uh, answer because I just looked it up. But I, I found a place where I can watch it, even if I can't see the the one on YouTube because of location. So I'll definitely check that one out. I was actually re-watching, um, oh, what's it called again? The Power of the Saint is Omnipotent, I think it's called. It's a bit of a complicated title. But I've, I've recommended that one before. It's very nice. Uh, the season two recently came out. So I'll watch that. I watched season two. And I was like, oh yeah, but now I want to watch season one again. Uh, reincarnated as a sword. I've seen that one. That one is uh, good fun. Uh, is that um, the I am a spooter? Is is that the one I got reincarnated as a spider, but and then a whole story as a title? Because I really like that one. 
despite the fact that it's the timeline is really weird it's really confusing until you realize how it actually went I'm, i'll not give any spoilers but it was really confusing for me for a bit we just ran out of the light roast i see let me see if we need to do an afternoon order here It's not actually attached to shelving. Oh yeah, we need potatoes. <laughs> and I think he just grabbed the last one. Add, add one more then. Um, toilet paper and cleaner. Hold on. Sort it on cleaning is easier. check if not in the meantime people brought a box back no and that's full there you go yeah that'll give me something to do until the day is over uh so i'm a spider so what that's that's the one yeah that's true i just remember the title being long Yeah, that's a viewpoint from a lot of the classmates that got teleported, basically. Oh, yeah, so the, I get it. So I never read the manga, but the back and forth, that, that does sound like it's better because we're really only interested in, in the, the main character. Her life is a lot more interesting than the other characters, I agree. But the timeline was so... It didn't make sense, right? Because we were seeing similar characters at a different point in their life. So the timeline was really confusing. Until you figure it out, what's going on. Yeah, I don't really want to spoil it for anyone. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you need... So what would happen if someone's watching it, you know, an episode every week? They would first have seen everything from our, uh, the main character's view. And then watch the human's view and then suddenly jumped back. I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that yet. Uh, to both views and that would be really confusing or basically go back to the, the spider even though you were with whole other people at the time it's a good thing i ordered potatoes because my goodness we're already down two boxes again Let's see if i can empty this one but i did like it however the the viewpoint of the spider is simply way more interesting than anything else going on in this series. They could have uh, they could have left that shorter, in my opinion, and shown more of the spider. But uh, yeah, everyone told me. At first, I was still ordering from the shelves. You know, see how much I needed, and slowly filling up the storage. Once I was at that point, I just look at the storage, see if it's empty. And then it makes sense to move your PC to the storage. Alright, how's everyone doing over here? So, I ordered less coffee than I expected. Are we very low? No, not very... Ooh, we are very low on milk. We need a lot of milk. Wait, hold on. He might be carrying some? No, he's not. Okay, we'll need to order four milk. 
But yeah, the week is tamer. I'm, I'll definitely check that out. But I think there's one episode to go, so I made. I'll probably wait on that. If it's in the twelve episodes, it's gonna be uh, probably the end of the. Uh, yeah, the end of the coming week. It'll be out. Um, hey, gentle Pete. Like manga. Hold on. And I don't. Oh. And Rob knows it. Okay, I was gonna check, Rob. Thank you. <laughs> That's not a safe manga. I thought so. Hold on. I'll, I'll... Someone was giving me a recommendation. I'll not say it out loud. Is that Handmade May? It's a live action adaptation was released in 2014, really. I think it is. Or is there no, no, there's no anime, so it can't be. Because I know handmade, no, but let's not talk about that one. It's uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit naughty. <laughs> Thanks, Rolf. <laughs> yeah, no. Let's not recommend the naughty stuff here. <laughs> oh yeah, these guys are empty now. We can... There were boxes up there with one item, so I wanted to make sure that was emptied first. Uh, actually, I can just... Uh... Oh, he's already grabbing that. Let me get the lasagna then. I think I'm bl lasagna blocking the other guy. Hold on, I can't see. Nope, I already got it. Let him put the box first. There you go. Cause then we grab the yeah, then we grab the empty box, emptier box. Boop. Oh, there was still a customer. Wow, he was here late. No, <laughs> oh, he checked. He's just quicker on the draw than I am, but that's of course because I'm playing a game. Yeah, but it, it, I, I think it's a, you know, when you put it in the right spot, which is obviously not here, I can appreciate a good joke like that among adults. It's like recommending uh, Watership Down for the kiddies, you know? Though officially that move is for nine years and up. It's great. You want to make sure your 10 year old never sleeps again? There you go. Well, it's not that bad, but it is pretty brutal. <laughs> Good though. Nah, I guess it's not that bad. I think I saw that movie pretty young. It didn't make that much of an impression on me. Oh, no. That's the wine spot. Well, Moomin is meant for kids, so, well, yeah, I, I guess Waterships that was meant for kids, too. Oh, boy. Well, I think, I guess a better uh, example would be Happy Tree Friends, right? Because it, it looks happy and joyful on the cover, so you might want to buy it for your kids. And then they come home and it's like, oh, no. <laughs> This is not for kitties. <laughs> but yeah, there are a couple of anime out there. I recently saw a post 
um, oh, there was there's also a game version of this joke where someone asked for game recommendations and he wanted to have, you know I think he bought a console and he wanted game recommendations for a nice relaxed game and someone went oh you should try <laughs> try the <this> soul series <laughs> it's great very relaxing <laughs> And people agreed, of course. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. I mean, of, of course, if someone tells you something, you always need to Google it, make sure. <laughs> Don't hug me, I'm scared. Oh boy, yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, but yeah, I, in anime you have... Oh, I don't know their names. There's one that has a really weird art style that looks really cute. And then they, they go down into this tunnel, all the way down. And the deeper they go, the hor more horrifying it gets. And I haven't watched it yet because I've heard how horrifying it is. Made in the Abyss, that's it. I've heard how horrifying it is. So that makes me hesitate. If, if cute things get killed in horrible ways, I don't know if I'll really enjoy that. I mean, I might. If I'm in the right mood. <laughs> Excuse me, hold on. Um, there's also one that looks really cute. It looks on the, you know, the the front page picture is basically a very cute couple of high school students, anime style. You know how it is. They all look basically the same uh, in their uniforms. And it starts out. I've seen a bit of this one. It starts out really cute. Just, you know, normal and, and they're going to... It is a bit odd how there's a group of teenage girls in that school with one teacher and it's... If I remember correctly. And then they just have a good time and then it turns out they're actually in the zombie apocalypse and you've been watching from the view of a girl who completely lost it. She just completely lost the thread. She thinks she's actually in high school having a good time. But everyone else is trying their damnedest to keep her alive. Because <laughs> she's just... She wants to go outside and play, basically. I don't remember it completely, but... This, this is called School Life. I don't remember the names, usually. Because I watch the Japanese version with subtitles. So oftentimes the name is also in Japanese. I don't remember that. But yeah, there's a couple of, uh, of anime like that. Where you think it's all cute and nice, but no. <laughs> Speaking of horrifying, I still need to watch Attack on Titan. I keep putting it off. Because it's, you know, there's many seasons now, so it's going to take time. And once I start, I generally binge. So it's... <laughs> there you go. That's a Japanese name, yeah. I don't think that's a naughty one or something like that. I think it's just meant to be horror. You know which one I recently watched? <laughs> Captain Stu, thank you very much for subscribing. Um, I recently watched, and it, it is a horror light, I guess you could call it. It is a, it has a horror undertone, but it doesn't have the focus on it all. Um, Psalm 100, the bucket list of the dead. It got interrupted, basically. They, they made an anime of it, it was super popular. And then for a couple of months, they had a problem with the dis distributor, I think. And it was paused. And they, they finished it around Christmas last year. Finally. So then I started watching. Because I, I only watch if it's finished. And it's really good. I highly recommend it. Um, I mean, there is some gore. But like most of the blood is all in like bright colors. It's really, it's a bit odd. It takes a little bit getting used to. It's about a guy who is, it's a very Japanese thing that there are toxic offices where you're basically being forced to work from 
early morning to very late in the evening you're basically being forced to work yourself to death otherwise you're a bad colleague and you know people sleep at the office and it's normal and they are supposed to do that and very toxic it's be becoming more and more known also in the culture itself that it is toxic it used to be normal but it's basically you make a family out of a company and then misuse it so this is about a guy who's a uh, he's a zombie right not literally he's a sl an office slave as you call it and he's just he's basically brain dead he lives in a pigsty um he sleeps at the office on occasion he has no private life whatsoever and he's just completely depressed and he's starting to realize how bad he's doing really nothing for the fridge no freezer sorry freezer. um <clears throat> and this is just the first couple of minutes of the uh, of the series, right? There's no spoilers here. And then he wakes up one morning and he just goes to work and he realizes that something's weird's going on. In the meantime, everywhere around him are people just getting eaten during the, the zombie apocalypse. It's great. And it's not very it's not bloody or anything because everything is just colored. It's really weird. Yeah. Um, and he realizes that it's a zombie apocalypse and he doesn't have to go to work anymore. And he compl yeah, he just, he is so happy. He, he's just ecstatic that the world is ending and he doesn't have to go to the office anymore. And <laughs> so he starts to live it up, right? And he makes a bucket list of what he wants to do before he gets turned into a zombie and the whole series is about that he's he, he finds an old friend uh, they start traveling together they meet some other people and run into situations just completely s spoiler free here chicken but it's a combination of, of being extremely funny while being a complete drama it, it has some very, very good moments. Let me see. I got the pop soda. Anyone? No, that's it. Sorry, I was already here. The chicken. I'm distracting myself. Some nice leggies. Oh, God, this shit again. All the boxes have like one, one cheese in there. No, of course not. Um, Mimulets, mozzarella. Okay, let's order them though. I'll uh, I'll put them in a little bit later. Hold on, gotta blow my nose. Uh, she turns into a cat. That does sound interesting. And the, the the sense of it does remind me of that spider anime manga. <clears throat> I'm a spider, so what? <laughs> Where it's basically all about people whose real life sucks so bad that they don't care that, you know, things change in horrifying ways. But yeah, I have a whole list of things I still want to watch, and that's not even counting uh, what's finishing next week, I think. Most of the the winter anime... Is that is it winter season? Yeah, I think spring season is coming, so most of the winter anime will be finishing around this to next week, I think. We'll see. 
Well, it's it's not really um, a twist, Antissa, with the the zombie anime. Because it's the first thing he does is just celebrate. And he cleans his house and he gets a beer and he's so happy. He finally has time to have a beer. <laughs> it's great. And there's not a big turnaround either. He's never... He never reaches the point that he's actually really sad that the world is ending. Other than that, you know, he lost some people. It's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's a good one. The art style is amazing too. And of course, the shark. I'll not give it away, but oh my god, the shark. It, it, it is worse than you can imagine. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, but yeah, if I have heard that there's some, uh, oh, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. Some good ones running this season. So I'll have to check those out. But I only watch them if they're finished. I also don't read the manga. Uh, the thing for me is that my memory is generally pretty good. I've If I've read the manga, I usually don't have to watch the anime anymore and vice versa too. It's just, I know the story. It, it loses interest to me. There's only a couple I really have rewatched too. So that's the one I mentioned before. Um, the, oh, what's it called? The, the, the power of the sage is omnipotent. Something like that. I, I always forget the name of that one because it's a bit complicated name. It's such a shame that it, it wasn't really popular, so the second season looked a little bit cheap. You know, things like long conversations where you don't see anyone move, basically. That, that kind of... A, but it was still a good story, so that's fine. And a great ending. So I still liked it a lot. Did I forget to order pasta or did we just run out? No, I haven't... I, I didn't get there yet. I was doing the fridge. I also need to... Oh, I forgot to pay my bills for a couple of days. Better pay them before I get a fine. If that, if I think that happens. I think you do get punished if you don't pay. Uh, what do we have in here? Cheese. Right, that's those two cheeses. Okay, so we're at the shelving then. That's right. I lost track of where I was for a moment. Oop. Oh yeah, we needed four milk. A lot. One, two, three, four. Four. Four, yes. And then the coffee. I think that was the medium roast. I'm a check. Yes. Okay. Powdered and brown sugar. Oh, we're full up. Brown. Candy, peanut butter and bread. Peanuts. And bread. Uh, sorry, is it little or big bread? Little. Oop. Check the booze. Uh, yeah, I'll order one of each keg. That one is almost empty. Now we get to the pasta. Uh, spaghetti and pasta indeed. Cereal? No. Rice, uh, good enough for a day. We need salt and a potato. No, that's all good for. Uh, well, for I mean, uh, salt. 
potato. We order an extra potato. I need like one item to fill this up. Oh, add the white rice. There's only one in the package. Yeah. Perfect. Open up. Fortune. <laughs> oh my god, that's it's been ages since I was on there. The abridged short out online. Is that like um where they put the whole season or seasons in like a very short episode or something? They completely rewrite everything. Really? And you can watch it on YouTube? Oh, you mean like someone made a video on it? Oh no, they changed the plot. Okay, I, I haven't heard of that because I've watched two seasons of Sword Art Online, but I haven't watched the movies yet. Or I think there was another season. Completely new voice actors too. Okay, interesting. Because one of the things... I, I, well, I really liked Sword Art Online. I also liked the later on stories. One of the things I didn't like was that they basically... Stream a reaction doll. That's. I am honestly not a big fan of reaction videos. I always find it a cheap way to steal someone's content, honestly. There's a couple of people who do add real insights, you know, from their own point of view to it, but it's rare. But I wouldn't mind watching it. If you could. Uh, you can send me a DM on Discord, or if it's, uh, well, it's pretty safe, isn't it? You can just post it in the anime channel. No, I, I can't put the box down, so I can't refill it myself, unfortunately. Oop. Uh, so, what they did with Sword Art Online, I, I thought that was a real shame. I don't know how to put this. So... The whole series was supposed to be about people who, you know, start playing a game, a new VR headset, where you really go into the game. That's the point, right? And you see it from the point of view in the game. So it's like they go into an anime. It's basically a, another form of isekai where they go to another fantasy world. But they get, it's, uh, they get stuck. It's uh, um, sabotaged, and if you remove the helmet, you die in real life. If you die in the game, you die in real life. Of course, it's horrifying. Uh, people react badly. and But it, for me, the whole series should have been about that. They could have made a whole season about how people reacted, how people fought their way out. You know, because they had to beat the boss to get out, basically. That was the point. And I do think they could have easily made a whole season about that. Instead, they forced it into six episodes, skipped a whole bunch, and, and then made like the second half about other stuff with the same characters. I thought it was a real shame. So yeah, if they changed it around a bit, I wouldn't mind uh, seeing that. So, especially because they hint at... Uh, yeah, what do you call it? Uh, so there's just guilt, like it's a fantasy game, right? It's an MMO. 
And there's guilds in that game. And what happens is there's one guild that's basically either it's people just going insane or they don't believe the situation or and they're actually killing people in game even though they've been told that people will die in real life if they do that so you know there's a group that starts fighting them and it's a whole thing but it's it's literally five minutes in the whole anime <laughs> i thought that was a really interesting subject they could have at least put a couple of episodes on but no five minute flashback at tops okay that one is gone that one is not nope right, they refilled it with this box i'll fix it hold on run before they try to do it there you go now we can fit that new box in there perfect more cheese oh no, that's still the one i had hoped we'd sold at least one of those cheeses by now spaghetti All the cheese. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of good animes that I haven't seen. Because I've watched so sporadically, basically. You know, I've, I've watched Visions of Escaflone, but I would, haven't watched... Um, um, what, what's it called? Really? Not a single one? Ah! I want to buy a pack of cheese, please. Um, the the alchemist. Uh, oh. It's considered the best anime ever made by most people. Oh, oh, he, damn! I missed it. He said something. Full Metal Alchemist. Thank you. I couldn't. I really couldn't think of it for a moment. Yeah, you want some cheese? Take take this cheese. It's really good. No, not that cheese. That cheese. I have two boxes. I'm trying to get <laughs> get rid of this one. Wow. That's a lot of butter you got there, sir. Yeah, I still need to watch that one. Okay, we have a couple more customers. They might buy some. That expensive. Come on, peeps. Oh, gives me a chance to take a drink. Have a drink. Take a sip, I mean. No, nope, they're all standing in line. No one bought the cheese. They'll teach me to order too early. I'll put it here. Wait, we're out of milk again? I ordered four boxes. Well, I guess it's at least it's full. Oh, maybe he he just brought it back. Okay, we have four left over. <laughs> yeah, that one can go really fast. Okay. 
while they're working, let me uh, put something on order that I know for sh for sure are empty. Okay, is anyone working in the cleaning aisle? No. So bleach. Right, that doesn't work. You first done an any, then on cleaning. Tablets. Uh, again, two boxes with one, but we're still good covered with the other boxes. Uh, grab me a toilet paper. Mm. Nothing empty. Nope. Uh, it's uh, and that's the strawberry ice cream. Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone is. Uh, Oh, I can only fit two items there anyway. Uh, is it the mixed pizza? Yes. Yeah. That order is uh, done. The rest can wait till morning. The Korea Kirito is always right foundation. Oh my god. It is true. He is, yeah. He is always right in the anime, isn't he? Yeah, I thought for a second you meant they did, they did like a remake with a different, with some differences, but yeah, it's clearly a parody. Well, we're getting closer to the, the 20,000, but my goodness, uh, sushi and light brown sugar. It is taking its sweet time. You see? Um, so that's 140, right? Yeah, there you go. Well, since I already checked these, well, they're working, I can just ref no. <laughs> refill this. Fine. Box is a bit too big to throw through the door. I really do wonder why some boxes now um, have like the lid folded over the picture. Because not all of them do, right? Because this one does. Oh, I bummed myself around. But this one doesn't, because it's the same item. So it's not different per items. A nap and a headset is playing the game. That's brilliant. Oh, right. I accidentally deleted. I need wine. I accidentally put something else there, removed the tag, and then didn't order wine. Okay, no, we're, we're good. We're not low or anything. You know 
Coffee is good. I occasionally do a little run to the store, especially with coffee and milk. It can suddenly like sell a lot, and then even two boxes won't won't cover it, and it can slowly go down over time. Okay, so I have the wine. Uh, that ice cream. That was the strawberry ice cream. So, the, yeah, the vanilla strawberry. There you go. Anyone refilling the cheese? No. So that's... Comté and Parmesan. Since they're still working, I'm just... Ordering whatever's empty. Let's try to stick to the fridge, though. The soda is especially tricky. No one is doing the drinks. So we can order the empty shelves. That is blue water, red, and white. So water, blue. Then soda is the white cola and the red soda. Yes. Medium eggs and tuna. Yeah, no one's restocking that. Oh, I think they're done, actually. I don't see them walking around anymore. What am I missing? Just from the fridge in the freezer, only a chicken. Uh, hold on. One chicken? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we could combine them, but... Yeah. Well, actually, if we do that, we can order two chicken. Let's do that. Oop. Yeah, can you come grab it? Tell me you have insomnia without it, for telling you. Watching a stream at 3 a.m. Um, <clears throat> I had a good time at 1 p.m. this afternoon. You know, I hadn't slept yet. <laughs> uh, I, I'm the same. But my time zone's a little different. So yeah, that was no fun either. Okay, I think that's actually everything I need for the fridge and the freezer. A those are easier for me to track to see if they are actually working on them. So I usually start with those. Uh, or the cleaning aisle, you know, those are very specific spots. But yeah, it is getting late. Boop, boop. I did order some honey. This is all cheese. Still need to get rid of that one cheese over there. I think so, Doug. Uh, you know, assuming from the... The past upgrades, I think it will be. Yeah, so it's one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. So the one we can't see now is then number eight. I think that's how it went in the past, at least. So 
chimkin and honey. Got the soda. Oh, I got turned around there for a second. Yeah, the fridge section is the hardest to, to fill. <laughs> no, if the front was one big door, that would be easier. Because <laughs> then I could throw things here and throw things there, depending on, you know, what it was. But you can walk through the entire city. That uh, I've heard people say that there's like things hidden, but there's well the entire city. I mean, it's it's a couple of blocks. See till there, it's basically one big square with a road in the middle here. And it's, it's not, I mean, you see some cars and some people, but the stores are often the same a couple of times. But there's a little park over here. Yes, I'm still listening. Thank you. And here's the store again. <laughs> hey, Nightmare. You tell people are very slow. Yeah, I've given up on caring about that. Because <laughs> they, they are slow. There's nothing we can do about it. And if I need to be, I can jump in to help. Even though, you know, I'm finally finished with having to go in there to unlock the fort register. So far it's going fine though with four. I've heard people say like, oh, you only need three, but I, I think four works fine. I don't know if it matters in time. It's not like they make sense, right? They don't go stand in the shortest line or something. It would be nice if we uh, um, maybe a different type of store. I wouldn't want to do this exactly over again. Because, well, yeah, I guess you would get more income from this store. But geez, how long would days be in that case? Maybe a... Yeah, what kind of store could you add that keeps going in the same sense? Is interesting. But doesn't add like the exact same workload again. Maybe set up a little cafe or something like that. That would be fun. We mentioned that before. You know, something a little bit different. And then maybe they could use products from this store. So you'd have to take products here, like a little basket, get some, and then have to deliver it there. Well, yeah, but that, like, well, we have fresh meats. A, a whole bazaar, yes, that would, be, that would be very cool, I do agree. Does it get busy or not busy enough, in my opinion? So it does, I get about uh, between 58 and 52 people every day in the store. It really goes up and down a bit. But at this point, I had expected more people and more profit. So it's getting a little too slow for my taste. How, how it's going right now. Uh, hold on. I checked the booze. That was good. Check this side. We need chocolate cereal and elbows. Oh. 
I put my stomach grumbling. <laughs> I don't know if you guys I, I saw a little boop that it, 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 the sound was caught. Oh my goodness. I'm getting very hungry. I'll, uh, I'll fill the store though. Uh, I think it was the blue rice, right? Yes. Oh, we need pepper, mayo and hot sauce. Pepper, mayo. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think if they make a lot of changes to the game, eventually it would become more interesting to start over. Just to see how the start of the game goes with the new additions. Uh, blue flour and mashed potato. Yeah, that's, that's a shame. It doesn't fit exactly in the, in the order. Let me just add some. Um, what, what's the one I didn't order? Ketchup. Just add one then. No, I ordered those. Yeah, that's all nice and full. Just filling up the order. Of, uh, yeah, let's add a big sushi. Oh, hold on, put it off the shelf then. We're ordering fridge stuff. Two more spots. Okay, a soda, green. And um, one more item. Not. Nah, we have a lot of those. Oh, here, the clotted cream. Perfect. Okay. Well, the licenses allows people to buy more, but at a certain point I bopped over that I suddenly lost a lot of profit. So I was buying expensive stuff, but I wasn't making more profit of them. And I'm not entirely sure how that worked, because you're still supposed to be making profit. It was like I was selling less, and I don't know why that was. And while I was able to adjust the pricing to the point that I was able to make a little bit more profit again, it's still not going great profit-wise, compared to how how very expensive the upgrades are. I'm a little bit worried that I'm gonna get stuck at a certain point where even now, how many how many days have I played? Okay, I've been playing four and a half hours. I'm I made ten thousand dollars. I mean obviously I'm yapping a bit more than normal players would, so maybe going a little bit slower, but I am playing continuously and ordering immediately and uh, I mean, well, it's a little bit more because I just ordered all the stuff. Uh, 14,000, let's say. Yeah, that, that sounds about in comparison. But it's still very little. If I can't buy a single space upgrade in four hours of playtime, then how long is it going to take me to get two? It's going to take me like 10 hours. No, more. It's going to take me more. Well, if, if I made 14,000 now and we need twice that, I need nine hours. Okay, let's say nine to ten hours to get a single space upgrade at this point. That's a lot. But there are games that are shorter than that. <laughs> it's 
So yeah, a little bit of balancing would be nice. I wonder if people are complaining about it on the Discord. I should check and otherwise start complaining myself. <laughs> the game has become a bit too slow and I'm starving. It's not that bad. Uh, we had uh, an easy meal today of uh, what we call lekkerbekje. It's caught in a <clears throat> in a, um, a light batter. In this case, it's a very light batter. And then fried, but we bought it frozen, so we just put it in the oven and, you know, made it crispy again. It was really good. Full release of the game includes a challenge mode where you start in debt to the Mafia. Well, that sounds like a nice challenge indeed. But in that case, you're not... Oh, why am I looking at the freezer stuff? Um, you know, in that case, the point isn't to set up your supermarket as, as fast and as well as possible. Your goal is to get rid of the debt by setting up your supermarket. That actually sounds fun. But it'll have to be very carefully balanced. In that, you know, you don't go broke. It has to be possible, let me put it that way. But it does sound fun. I'm, I'm charming you all with my sparkling conversation. Okay, that does sound indeed a lot better than yapping on. No, it stays 10. You can only order 10. I'm not really bothered by it because I just order, order, order and then click, you know, buy and then continue. So whether there's 10 boxes at a time in the street or 20, I don't really care. I refill it at basically the same speed. Did you guys just get emptied or did I miss them completely? No, I think they just got emptied. Oh my God, that single bag of cheese has been there for three days. Can we just please sell one of these? Is it too expensive? No, it's not. We're barely above market price. No one is buying the Parmigiano Reggiano. It's because this is also Parmigiano Reggiano. Why do we have two types of Parmigiano Reggiano? And how many times can Nima say Parmigiano Reggiano without laughing too much? <laughs> uh. So I had the same issue where I suddenly had a big drop in profit. It was like people were buying less suddenly. Um, not really sure what caused that. I uh, So I did some testing with the pricing. And I don't know if this is going to work well in chat. Let me post this in YouTube. Hold on. Um... Oh, I know, I can't do shift tab. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Um, so below $2 market price, I'm talking about the market price. I add 10 cents to the market price. Between two and $5, I had 20 cents. Between five and $10, I had 40 cents. Between the 10 and the $15 market price, I add 50 cents to the market price. Between 15 and $20, it's 120 cents. Might be a bit too high leap up, but it's going well so far. And b above the $20 is 140 cents added above the market price. And I just, I have a little list next to me and I just keep that up. And so far it's going okay. I mean, I do have a couple of complaints now every day, but I did up my profit quite a bit. Yeah, I, I do think people should be buying more. But also, things like the booze should have a huge profit margin. And they don't. They barely make any profit at all. I do think there are certain items that should be making much more profit than they are. Like, yeah, the sushi is okay. Eight and seven dollars. 
Like the salmon is only three dollars, but the sodas are all around two, three dollars. This one's also expensive. Yeah, six dollars. I sh I feel like I should be making more money than I am, and I I don't know what to do about it, basically. Yeah, everyone keeps talking about the books, so I'm definitely giving that priority. But right now, I need, yeah, I need to be level 70. <laughs> Put items on sale. Yeah, that would be... Uh... But you'd have to work out how that's going to work, right? What I would prefer very much above that is if they... <laughs> How to put it so what they did is they made you know price change per day right every day some things change prices however what they didn't do is make it um short so for example uh today the soap is very cheap but you don't change the price you um, you buy a lot of it and the next day it's going to be going back to its old price. So I want temporary price changes, which makes a, gameplay wise a lot more sense to me. Because then it is useful to buy a lot of stuff uh, when it's cheap or maybe not order it on a day that it's very expensive. Because right now the price changes, the only thing it, it matters to me is that I have to change the prices in the morning. I'm not doing anything else with it because I have no idea how long those price changes are going to last. So there's no use in buying a big amount if the price drops. Because hell, tomorrow it might drop further. <laughs> you don't know, right? It's not going back up. It might not. It might. You don't know. There's no way to... No... Uh... Oh, Robert, you're making a whole story of it. That's great. But honestly, Robert, that's, that idea does sound funny. Um, you know, challenge mode. But they'll need to add some more ways to make money if, if they're going to do that. I need a... Hey, Wheelie, really, uh, welcome back. I need a bit more variation in gameplay too, but that's, you know, it's early access, so that's coming. It's all been announced what they're planning to do. Well, I don't know if everything's been announced what they're planning to do, but they announced a lot that they're planning to add to the game. Well, let me help out with the drinks here since they're taking their damn sweet time. Is this the full box? Yes. Uh, this one, I think. <laughs> one bottle left over. Oh yeah, can we now finally get rid of the one cheese or did we not sell any of it again? Yes, there we go. I mean, the box was almost empty, so we clearly we sold some of it. In the past. But that took a couple of days. There we go. I was like, oh, there's only one left on that shelf. Let me just order some in advance. Well, shouldn't have done that. Okay, we can order. Let's prepare an order for the morning. Um, water? Which one, though? Ooh. It's always hard to see the label. That's the white one. I think I saw eggs. Yes, the large eggs. No one's refilling that right now. I already checked. So we can order that. 
Anyone refilling the orange juice? No, I, I refilled the yogurt, so I know that's gone, gone, gone. Orange juice. Anything else? Uh, yeah, just a mimolet. No one here. Nope. There you go. <laughs> you won all of your bets today? Nice. Yeah, so, so side missions, something like that, is coming. Oh, I thought it was still on the PC. Um, like, you get orders in from the neighborhood. And then... Uh, They, uh, you need to go deliver. Let me see, that's 40 cents, so that's I'll just make it 80. There you go. But then it's on a nine, I round it up. Right, I already threw in one order, I know for sure. They're not working on and was empty. Well, we're over the 20k. That means we made 16,000 uh, today. In almost five hours. Oh, come on, let me throw. Throw all the eggs. We're all going that away. Alrighty. You have to be careful, make sure nothing landed in the shelves, you know, just by throwing them. Because they won't connect and then they'll just lay there forever and ever. Oop. Well, the fridge looks full. Right, the freezer was very empty. How are we doing on chicken, actually? Three boxes with one. Just great. Just great, guys. Let me fix that. Oi. Come back here. You need to refill the chicken. Okay, I think there's only one person who can work on... Per product. On one product. There's only one person per product. So I jumped in there. There we go. Okay, freezer stuff. Give me two chickens, now that it fits. Potato pops, vegetables. One, two, one, two, one, two. And the last one is... Uh, that's the last ice cream, I think that's... Yeah, because it's chocolate vanilla ice cream. There you go, this one. Okay, that's the fridge and freezer done. Let me check the cleaning stuff. Because I think they're done now. Uh, two purple. Three. One, two, three. Even out the order. No, okay. I'm just making sure I can do it myself. There you go.
There you go. Yeah. I've been selling so much coffee and milk that it's really suspicious that I don't need to order any of it. I might have to check that in the afternoon, but for now it's good. Okay, we need powdered sugar, normal sugar. Sorry, that's not cleaning. That's shell. There you go. Powdered, normal, right? And then. The cane. Oop. Uh, yeah, let me get all the toilet paper first because there's a lot of big. Oh, chicken too. Yeah, we have a lot of big boxes. I hit my worker to his head. He likes it. It's okay. Is the game dark? Yeah, it's it's. Because the... No, you're not a big box. Hmm. <clears throat> Turning the light on costs money. What's this? Chicken. It's not very dark for me. At least not now. It was? I don't know. Was it nighttime? <laughs> All right. Tum -tum. Lots of freezer stuff. bit to the end of the stream I did start a bit later today I'll just get this put away and uh, I'll have to see how it all goes tomorrow I have a couple of uh, other games planned this week I want to get back to amusement park simulator I've just been waiting on some generic bug fixes and some updates um, that one was a lot of fun. Uh, Beach Club Sim was also fun. Would like to play that again. I will still have to play that Tidal Wave uh, gas station sim. Oh, I think I threw the sugar to there as well automatically. <laughs> Didn't I? No. Uh, hold on. Go for there. Oh, I did. No, I did. Sorry. Wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah. Guess it's time to wrap it up if I'm throwing the sugar towards the freezer section. Potato. Powdered sugar. Oh, that's possible, really. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'll finish the ordering uh, next time. As expected, though, I didn't make it to the 24k. That's just... The money's coming in too slow for that. I still had a good time. We did make uh, make a bunch of money. It should just take a couple of days more, two or three, depending on what items we need to order. If I need to order a lot of expensive items, maybe four, but... Eh. 
And then we can... It's probably this piece. I'm assuming it is. And then we'll... Uh, yeah, I'll have to see... <clears throat> I think it's a good idea. Make this like the, the book corner. And then... Uh, yeah, we can keep keep this area free for future alcohol related licenses and the rest yeah I'll, have, I'll just have to see how it goes to pay my bills because we're definitely getting the books first because everyone's telling me that's a good profit maker so we definitely once we hit, we hit level 70. So we'll get the space upgrade and then we'll see what level we are when we hit uh, the money level again. Yeah, we can get the cleaner and cat and dog food. I'll have to see where I'll put the cat and dog food. I don't think there's enough in the game to do like a pet aisle. Often it's near like cleaning items, but yeah, we're getting more cleaning items. So that's... But doubtful that's going to fit. Hmm. We're getting more sugar. Oh my god. <laughs> but then at that time we can move things about because we'll have like a more candy too. Hi Wheelie. Well everyone, that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be on the Discord for a bit longer. If you want to come and chat, I'm going to get something to eat. I'll be very likely back tomorrow with more games. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for over 100 likes. Well, far over 100 likes, almost 120. And I will see you all next time. Good night, everyone.